all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is good and clear to you please invite your friends and let everybody know today our topic is about the god who do not speak and he is deaf he is dumb and even he is blind there is a verse in the quran which we will show you in the screen and actually i choose this verse because the muslim they keep saying to us that allah you know our god don't eat but you see your god don't eat but he don't talk he don't see he don't hear and that is exactly is what is idols is about in chapter 2 verse number 171 the Quran says the following I remember the one is saying that is the Quran not me the Quran is supposedly here trying to insult those who don't believe in Allah but in fact the Quran here describing the God of Islam Allah himself if we read together we will find that supposedly the God of Islam not me saying that those who don't believe in Allah those who don't believe in Muhammad they are the same as those uh, they uh, they make a sound of a, a, a like a a crow and uh, like a sound of a bird in the graveyard or a sound of a frog and those things they listen to nothing and they hear nothing and they are blind and they don't understand hmm. and then after that the verse after it you will see how stupid the one who made this verse because if this God who is talking there is the God who hear and he is not deaf and he is not blind and he is the person who have wisdom what is the wisdom to talk about the kuffar who how they like they are and then says after that oh believer go and eat what is the connection you see you just mentioned to me here that you are a person of wisdom <clears throat> And this is why they avoid you but if you are a person of wisdom what is the connection between the verse number 171 and verse number 172 all who you believe eat of the good things that we have provided to you what is the connection between this and that nothing nothing it is just a guy who is trying to make a holy book and then after that you say to them it's forbidden for you to eat the dead meat the blood and the flesh of the swine what is the connection between those and those that is a clear evidence of the stupidity of the author of the book because when you write a book you have to make a conjunction between the ideas you don't insert an idea about decoration of the house while you are talking about how to make recipe of pork you don't talk about wisdom and then after that you say oh who you believe it etc etc what is the connection there's no connection if we ask the Muslims did Allah spoke to Muhammad they will say no so Allah is dumb did Muhammad hear the voice of Allah they will say no that's mean obviously Allah is muted the God of Musa's Musa's heard him the God of Abraham Abraham heard him all the prophets before Muhammad God spoke to them and they spoke to him he spoke to them 
and they spoke to him except Muhammad he never heard his all his God voice he never spoke to him and even this God he don't want to even talk to him for a second supposedly he sent him a guy his name is Jibreel I'm going to open my Skype and please only if you are a Muslim you call me if you are a Christian I will hang up on you immediately all right I know we are early this is why not many people online but I decide to be early so we can get you know uh, different people to be with us different timing let us see <clears throat> maybe we can get some Muslims And by the way, yesterday I made late night, at late night, I made a video for uh, Brother Shamshi, uh, who uh, was lying loud and open saying that his prophet did not swear by the Torah. So if you did not see the video, it is in a Christian Prince account. <clears throat> Maybe somebody from the admins can post the video down there in the info or in the text later. So if we go, we open Skype. Okay. Here we go. Skype is open. And Muslims only can call, please. No Christians. You see, when somebody says to me that he have a God, this God should not be the following. The, the Muslim, they say to you that why Jesus cannot be God? And number one, they say to you that he, God cannot be born. God cannot be born. And the funny is, that they try to say to us that we Christian we believe God is born as, as like a, the, the way they try to make it to look like as if we that the point of God to, to exist it was when he was born and all of us we knew that this is very stupid claim now Christians believe in it yes the Messiah he was born but he said before Abraham I am and Abraham he saw my day the Bible say clearly and Jesus said I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the resurrection I am the truth and all of us we knew that when we say that everything and the Bible says everything created by him and for him and he is the the visible image of the invisible image of God so the Bible confirmed to us the existence of Jesus before his birth but the Muslim they try to make you believe try to fool you it's part of the deception of Allah and his followers that God cannot be born because that's mean that God he just exists after he was born but no Christian in the top of the earth believe in such a garbage actually even in the Quran we can prove that the Messiah was exist and his name is the Messiah even before he was born because the Quran confirm that the Messiah is the Word of God which sent down to Mary so he was the word before he became a man <clears throat> now if a Muslim he call us we can discuss this topic but however I want to focus today okay look like we have a Muslim hello hello <coughs> okay all right hold on a second but I know one, by the way. Okay, my friend, do you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. How are you? All right, I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, my friend? Actually, uh, oh, first of all, and you are Arabic, I think. I want to actually uh, to say congratulations for your dead God, okay? Christmas. For my what? Okay? Your dead God. My God is dead? Who said that yeah. to you? Who said that to you? Jesus, Jesus, your God or no? Yeah, he's dead, but he's dead as I know he's yes. alive. No, he's not alive. He dead naked in your uh, in, in in the cross. Yes or no? Mm. So your prophet was a liar no. because the prophet of Islam says he was not. No, no, I said about you, you, your belief. Uh, uh, yeah, I know what, and, 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 and I'm saying about you, 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 your belief okay. too. So okay. what, what, so okay. what, 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 you are saying to me that, that that Jesus Jesus is dead? But if you you yourself you don't believe that he's dead, so are you okay. lying or what? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So let us make it clear: Is Jesus dead or not? Be honest. No, no, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. I want you to be honest. Be a man. Be a man. Is Jesus dead or not? If he is not dead, if he is not dead, why not? Why not? Listen to me. If you if you have balls, if you have balls, okay. I don't have balls. I, I because I don't I have balls. I I'm, I I gave them to Allah. Do, do Allah have balls? No, no. Do Allah have balls? Do Allah have balls? Listen, listen. Why you are talking about the language of balls? Do Allah have a balls? Hmm? Listen, I have actually flu. Okay, uh -huh. I have actually. I hear that you are a filthy person. Wallah alaikum. You heard that? Many people why? 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 Why you think I'm a filthy person? Explain to us. Explain to us why. I am here to debate you. Okay. I am here to debate you. When I said your God is dead, according to your prove belief, it, prove it. Yeah, prove it. Yeah. Okay. In Christian faith, mm. they say that God died for their for their sins. Mm. Yes or no? Mm. And is that true? And it says that that the Messiah is in heaven right now and ah, is alive, right? Yeah. Ah, so your God, so your God, so your God he never died. Died. Your God never died. No, yeah, your God actually. Okay. Died. Well, never. Our God never died too. Our God never died. According, 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 according my friend, according, let me explain to you. <laughs> let me explain to you, balls guy. Let me explain to you. We Christian believe that they killed the flesh of the man, but nobody can kill God. God is always alive, and this is why in your in your cult, even in your in your yellow pages book, the Quran, Jesus is still alive. That is the flesh of the man. They cannot kill God. Nobody can kill God. Nobody, my friend, nobody can kill God. Okay, I'm going with your logic. I'm going with logic. Listen, we cannot talk in the same time. Let us let us let us, let us, let us have a conversation. Abdul, Abdul. Abdul, no problem. Okay, Abdul, let us. Your, your, your name is what? Your name is what? Stinger. Stinger. Stinger or Samir? Yeah. Samir. Stinger. Samir, my uh, nickname. Anyway. Ah, so your 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 mom she called you Stinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I sting the no 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 because I break the, the cross and I sting. Oh, the cross. you broke the cross. I'm okay, sting. that's yeah, good. I break. Okay. Listen, listen. That's a good okay. thing. Okay. You said you claim that anyone have a question, hmm. just call you. Yes or no? Especially for Muslims. Am I wrong? Okay. Am I wrong? Okay. Very okay. What is your question? Okay. What is your question? My question is. When you become murdered, hmm. okay, and leave Islam, hmm. you say you said that Islam is not sense. Yes or no? Not making Islam any is sense. what? Yes or no? Islam what? Not making an, an, not making any sense. No, it makes what sense it because the prophet he promised us to have endless penis, and that makes sense. Okay, okay. Now, hmm. are you you go back to insulting? I will not I'm not insulting. insulting. It's what your prophet no, said. I mean, why I you are saying if I say what your prophet said is an okay, insult? Now, are you saying your prophet now, is making fun I of you? To, no, no. Listen, but now I want you to prove me, okay, mm -hmm. that Christianity is uh, correct. Me as Muslim, maybe I will follow Christianity just like you. Okay, okay. okay. Prove me why the God, your God, get killed mm. naked in the cross. Okay. Does that make sense more okay. than? Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, let let, let me ask second, you. Okay. Second. Mm. No, no, Mahu. Mahu. You Mahu. Speak Arabic. Mahu. <laughs> listen, listen. Mahu. Listen to me. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I swear. You swear by what? You swear by what? You swear by what? Okay, let, okay. As long as you swear by Allah, why you don't swear by the fig like your God? No, I want you to be honest with me. I want you to swear like your God, Allah by the fig. I want you to hold the fig in the front of you because obviously your God. Listen, we are talking. We are talking, my friend. We are talking. Did your God Allah swear by the fig? Did your God Allah swear by the fig? Why you are swearing by Allah? Are you better than Allah? Why you don't swear by the fig? I want you to swear by fig before we start debating. I want you to swear. I want you to say, I swear by the fig. Please, my friend. Your God, he swear by the fig. Why you don't swear by the fig? You, why you run away from my question? I'm not running. I'm just asking you to, Allah, in the beginning, Allah, before we start, no, oh, to swear no, by the fig. You. Can you swear no, by the fig, my friend? Christian. Can you swear by the fig? No, we all are Christians, ladies and gentlemen. In the Baltoc, by the way, okay. Mm. I am not a gentleman. Question. I am not a gentleman. God, okay? He cannot even answer my question. Who? You. What question is? What is the question? You did not ask me the question. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but my friend, ago, since you, you called me, said, since you called me, you, you did not said, shut up. You did not. Since you called me, you did not shut up to answer you. Nah, you. Yani, 
Yanni, <laughs> Yanni, <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, do you want me to answer you? Okay, let me answer you. Are you going to shut up so I can answer you? Are you going to shut up? Are you? You see? You see? Here we go. The guys, did, did he did, did he say the f word? Did he say the f word? This is exactly what Muhammad he said to a Muslim woman. He said to her, "Anik to her." Muhammad he said he said to a Muslim man, "Anik to her." Did you f her? So shut up so I can answer you. Shut up. Let, let me answer you. Hey, hey, Britnet women, Britnet women in the delivery room. Your your legs is open wide and there's no baby. Are you going to let me answer you or not? Are you going to let me answer you or not? I, I, I feel the pain. Okay, let me. I have to hang up on you because because you are a, you. Okay, okay, okay. Just shut up. Just shut up. Coward. You will not let me talk. I, I, I ask you a, 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 a question and you do and answer me and I'm the only <laughs> you are afraid from my answer this way you will not let me talk you keep talking I will not let you talk I have a question for you but I will not let you talk I am waiting for the answer but they don't answer let me talk no no I will not let you talk I will not let you talk I will let you talk I will let you talk I will let you talk <laughs> what a stupid donkey you see the same logic he is using to say Jesus is not God is the same logic we can use to prove that Jesus is God because if God cannot be killed that's what happened to Jesus in the Quran you idiot if you're reasoning to believe in Jesus is God or not that means you should be the first to believe in Jesus as God because he in your book you dummy he was not killed and this is mean that you are a hypocrite because if you cannot apply your logic on your belief that's mean you are a donkey and you are just playing games you are the one who said to me if jesus is god should not be killed well in your stupid book jesus was not killed so based on your filthy cult, you should be believing Jesus as God because here we go. He wasn't killed. He is terrified to let me talk. And he starts using the F word. And by the way, I've been told you are a filthy man and you are the one who is using the F word. How filthy I can be. Let me tell you how filthy I am. My friend, I am a person who take a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period. You believe it, brother? Brother? A brother? I heard the people asking the prophet, Allah S A W S. What they heard the prophet? What the prophet is doing? What's going on here? It was said, Oh Allah Messenger. Oh, forget about this. Forget about this. No, I want this one. Oh boy. It was said, Oh Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu from the will into which the body of dogs, oh, 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 dead dogs, and minstrel drags and garbage is thrown in. By the way, it doesn't say garbage only. It says a netting, which means stinky garbage. He said, water is pure and not made impure by anything. I mean, how stupid this statement is. As an example, the body of any human being or even animals, maybe 90% of it is water. So why you say the pork is pure? Because if water always is pure and 90% of the body or even more is just a water. If you go right now huh, and take the water from the body of any creature, how much, how much will be left? So what do you mean? Nothing make the water impure. We have dead dogs. We have women of blood from period in a small tiny spot of water. 
six foot wide and it's not a running water it's a garbage wheel everybody knows that this is a place of garbage and yet you jump in the middle of it taking a shower in it and you claim that water is always pure well isn't it urine most of it is water ah this is why the prophet he ordered you to drink camel urine so my friend when you speak about being filthy i never saw filthy more than this by the way i respect your prophet i think he is really really go green guy he don't want to use shampoo look look at the prophet look at the smart idea if everybody in the world use shampoo do you know what we will make in the ocean we will make a lot of foam the prophet he is the guy who go green he take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and that will generate a very nice format of chemical but it's natural one women blood in your skin and dead dogs in your skin you use it like a syringe for your skin you know like mm, yummy yummy the smell is so good and it is really really maybe it's tasty too in the top of that they're the throwing garbage which is a stinky hmm I like that I wonder how I wonder why each time a Muslim he called me he don't want to let me talk why I mean they call me to ask me but they will not let me talk supposedly it's my program supposedly I am the one who will answer him but they will not let me talk like the same as the guy the, the friend of uh, Zachar Naik a great and we go in the book of the term and we will find that if somebody committed adultery he will be a, a son of a bastard for tender everything and then Christian Prince he start answering him but he will not let me talk <laughs> They are scared they are terrified from the answer so this is what the muslims are doing and look how savage they are they try in order to make a point they are willing to insult jesus who the muslim they claim that they respect him do you see how filthy this cult is in which price you muslims are willing how low you can go just to make a point they claim that they respect Jesus and they claim that Jesus is a prophet of Allah, but they are no, they have no problem to make fun of Jesus, to call Jesus pastor, to call him all kinds of names, just to make a point which is not valid and we can get it easy busted. This is how trashy this cult is. And this is why you are here to get you busted. I am Christian Prince and this is my signature. Brother Titter, the other person, he named the Christian Prince, and always he attacked them. And by the way, he always make fun of the Prophet. And yes, the Prophet, he took a dead sour with dead dogs. But who said that dead dogs are dirty? Uh, uh, brother, uh, the Prophet, he said that dogs, even if they are alive, are, they are very dirty. They are nudges. This is the true. Dogs are dirty, but not the dogs who they are dead in that way. They are very holy dogs. As an example, in some old religion, they used to worship dogs. And obviously, the prophet, he had some of those dogs who they are dead in that will. Thank you very much. Those dogs are holy. Mm -hmm. Who is a Muslim would like to call me, but he will let me talk? Who is a Muslim would like to call me and let me talk? Now let us go back to our topic and prove that Allah is deaf. <clears throat> oh boy. Guys, we have in front of us a hadith which the Muslim they call it or consider it sahih. And by the way, when the Muslim they say Sahih, it's mean 100% garbage. Because what is correct in Islam, it must be wrong. And here we go, the proof. The Messenger of Allah said, Allah the Mighty, Sublim, enjoyed 50 prayer upon my Ummah. What? What? Allah, He gave Muhammad an order to pray 50 prayer? If, 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 if. Where is my calculator? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Calculator. Calculator. 
by the way we are the Arab who created calculator this is what they say hmm. what a big fat lie okay so if Allah gave Muhammad 50 prayer and let us say a human being he should sleep for 88 hours so that means there's 16 hours left okay divided to 16 that's mean you have to pray at least three prayer and point one every hour but hold on if we say that from the 16 hours we need you know before you pray in Islam you have to do ablution and at least at least that will take a 20 minute from your time are you a Muslim my friend hello hello yes um do you want a um, proper word count website for the Quran proper website for the Quran I have one no problem yeah. no no but the one you're using is actually really bad oh okay well you can give me uh, no problem what website is that uh, I'll send it to you okay no problem are you a Muslim yes you are a Muslim so why you don't talk to me about Islam Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't open website. I don't trust really. Sorry. Now, uh, what, why you don't want to tell uh, me about Islam? Yeah, just uh, type in corpus. And Quran. No problem. No problem. What What do you think? Why you are a Muslim, my friend? What do you think about Allah being deaf? Do Allah hear us? Yes. Okay. What is your proof that Allah? So, if Allah hear us, why he never spoke to Muhammad? Never spoke. Never spoke to him. How come Muhammad never heard Allah? So, what do you think? Um, he went to him at the night journey, right? Yeah, but he did he talk to him? I don't know. I never heard that. See, okay, so Allah, he don't talk. Allah, he sent Jibreel and Jibreel, he talk. Who is Jibreel? An angel. Okay, how we know that this guy is an angel? Isn't it your prophet? He said that this guy, he looked like Dahil Kalbi. No, I don't know. Yeah, the hadith. Let me show you, my friend. It says that the prophet, his your prophet said, not me, that Jibreel he come to him in the image of a man who is the neighbor of Muhammad, who is a very handsome boy, youth or man. His name is Dahil Kalbi. Read with me. It says here, your prophet speaking, and this is Sahih Hadith, as you see, that Jibreel he come to me in the image of Dahil Kalbi. Do you see it? That was Jibreel, peace be upon you, who came down. In the form of the Hill Kalbi. The Hill Kalbi, obviously, he is a homo, and he was always in the house of your prophet. And he is the same yeah. guy who your prophet he sent him to speak or to send a message to the king of the Roman because yes. he's very handsome. Okay. So why Jibreel coming in the form of the Hill Kalbi? Um uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, I if don't... I see the Hill Kalbi in the street, I will think he is Jibreel. So how this is, I mean, what is the point of this? People, they will walk in the street and they will see the Hill Kalbi because he's a guy who lived there between them. They might think that this is Jibreel. How we will know now who is who and who is who? Like uh, Muhammad Hijab, when he said to David Wood, he said, show me, answer me. How we will know who is who and who is he? Okay, now who is who and who is he? He is David, he is uh, Dahya or he is Jibreel? Who is who? Yeah. Don't you think this is will make a confusion? Yeah. Okay, so how we can solve this problem now? Who is who? Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. And how your prophet yeah. will know that this is now Jibreel? I mean, he will squeeze him, what he will do to him. Because if the hill can become to Muhammad now, he might think this is Jibreel. How we will know that he was seeing the real Jibreel when he see the hill can be? Um, yeah, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Think with me, think with me. How we will know? Maybe didn't Muhammad see him as an angel? Yeah, but he's coming to him now as a man. He's not uh, coming as an angel no more, as you see, my friend. He's not coming as an angel now. He is coming as a man, and uh, a man who is his neighbor who lives not far away from him, and he's a very handsome, beautiful boy. So Muhammad he claimed that this is his neighbor. He came to him 
because his wives they start complaining why this guy he he always come to the house late at night and Muhammad he tried to find an excuse he don't want to say that he is having a date with him he don't want to say that he is a gay or something so he claimed that his this is Jibreel yeah I I understand hmm. what do you understand now uh, it's kind of confused but but you don't you think this is fishy my friend yeah just a little bit okay what do you, it's okay so muhammad cannot be a prophet my friend what is that i mean why an angel of god he want to transform himself became a transformer so now he is coming to him in the image of a guy who is very handsome who live in town imagine uh, the president of uh, usa trump you know he come to my door and he says i am jibreel now I have to believe him because obviously Jibreel he changed his look to be like people we know right yeah. so how we can yeah. trust Muhammad saying that what if the postman he come to your house he knock at the door and he's a postman and here at the door he said to you I'm Jibreel how I will know that yeah. this is not Jibreel now maybe because uh, Jibreel showed him a sign that it is he how he signed he just came to him as Jibreel as a as a the Kalbi. He, that's it this is the only he don't even have an ID from Allah like they don't have like ID at that time like FBI they show you ID and you say and the number you can call the number and you can check even online how you will know yeah. that this is Jibreel um, yeah I don't really know mm. well now to us us to us two of us we do not know we need one two more we can play cards let me ask you a very simple question why you think Islam is true religion? You as a Muslim, what make you believe in this religion? Mm, the Quran itself. Quran itself, like what? Like, um, for example, mm -hmm. uh, for, for example, like, uh, have you heard of the old and evil? A old and even miracle of the Quran. Now give me some. I heard of it, but I found that it's a, all of it's it's a lie. Give me what is I, like what? Like the like I just said, the old and even one. How is yeah. it really a lie? My friend, let I, I no problem. But I I I study those things and I found it is a big fat lie. There's nothing true there. You know. I was. Can you show me, please? Okay, let me find a website. Uh, yeah. So we can check them out together. <clears throat> All right. I'm trying to find a Muslim website. Okay. All right, look like we found one. Okay, let's see if this one will work. Okay, as you see, that the three verses of uh, 89 surah draws. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Surah number, total even. Hmm. No, we want the one who says the word exactly, etc. Look like this is not the one. Let us see something else. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but I uh, mean, if that really is a coincidence, because in the time of Muhammad, the Quran was written on animal skin, bones, rocks. Man. And they didn't even yeah okay no, no this is all is a lie no this is all photoshop my friend i can put your name now in in my tv and i can put it in my curtain i can put it in a donkey i can put it anywhere uh, let us see word life just trying to find a website so we can show people here All right, let's see. Uh, all right. 
Let us see. Word count. Okay. Let us see. Maybe this one here. Uh, this is just wiki, wiki something. We don't want wiki. Miracle of the Quran. Okay. Islam. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Do you see what it says here? Do you, do you see the screen, my friend? I'm not seeing it right now. Can you look at the screen with me? Yeah, but if I do, that you you are going to hear uh, hear yourself because I you am. Can mute, you can mute. You can mute YouTube. You can click at the speaker and mute it. You know. All right. Because I want you to see the screen with me. You know, as an example here, they say that the word dunya, dunya appear 115 time and the word akhirah appear 115 time, which means dunya yeah. is here now and akhirah yeah. is here after. Okay, so 115. Yeah. Let us check if this is true yeah. or not. Do you yeah, see? Yeah, but it? you can, uh, you, you can uh, do that on the website I sent. Just type in Google. Yeah, no problem. Here we go. We will do it in this website. Here we go. This is a Muslim website anyway. Okay, dunya. After you, I will type yeah, the word dunya, my friend. I will type the word dunya, and everybody will see. Click, yeah, but after you click on that, you have to click on Quran dictionary. My uh, friend, it's the, above. the word dunya appear here 128 times. Yeah, but click on the Quran dictionary. What Quran dictionary? Where is where, what Quran dictionary? Uh, it's uh, did you go on my website? This is your website. Yeah, you are the one uh, who made that website. Uh, and then, but I the link I've sent to you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This is the website you want. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will type the word dunya. I will type the word dunya there. Then click on Quran uh, dictionary on yeah. left above. Well, we are in Quran dictionary already. Okay. The word dunya. Okay. It says result of 50 115 steam but this is what this is all meaning or this is a specific uh but okay that's actually how the actual word dunya is repeated in the quran mm, okay all right here it says that it is 115. yeah mm, okay and how who is the one who i mean why why we are searching in the dictionary we are not searching in the quran itself uh, because for example hmm. uh, when you uh, click on uh, we all know Adam is mentioned 25 hmm. times hmm. but when you click on uh, yeah. when you type in Adam we have the dictionary all right it you see you I just I just typed the word Akhira it appeared in zero and that that uh, can't be true Akhira it come as zero here we go I click at Akhira obviously this is not right it says there's no Akhira you, you see try here after search this is why it's better if we search the whole Quran normally not what it's called dictionary because obviously it's not working good you know uh, just because type in here after because if we search here in this website as an example if I search the word Akhira the word Akhira will appear yeah but uh, can you type in the word here after instead of uh, Akhira yeah but okay let us see let us see if we take al uh, uh, like you see here will al akhira it doesn't even come with the al akhira it's came like uh, al akhira sometime will akhira sometime so look like those people they play games if we go here and we type with their game and the website is not even working see it says hp status 500 mistake oh it's not working um. let me try again a bit without copy paste okay so if we go here if we go we have no choice my friend if we go here al -Akhira, as you see it shows in front of you it appeared 200 221 time yeah but so, that's not accurate no it, it, why it's not we can go one by one here we go the word akhira is even highlighted you see the word akhira because akhira is the same as al -Akhir. Right, so this is a false fabrication. Well, okay. is the same as al So this is a fabrication the Muslims they come with to make to fool us with numbers are not exist. Let us take another okay. number. Let us take another okay. another another lie. Hold on. Uh, okay. The word angel, malaik, malaika, and the word shaitan. 
they say that the word shaitan appear 88 time and the word angels appear 88 time is that true let us see okay i will type the word shaitan you speak arabic right no no okay too bad i will type shaitan for you here hmm. let us see how many time the word will appear it is 78 times shaitan only did you use my website your website is not working i showed you oh, here we go all right you you can uh, okay. here we go i would do it in front of your eyes my friend i would do it in front of your eyes here we go i would type the word shaitan let us see and then click on foreign dictionary hmm. in your website the word shaitan appear number 68 time do you see it yeah but click on Quran dictionary uh, this is the Quran dictionary isn't it oh let yeah. us go to God okay, okay let us go to Quran dictionary okay it says here how many time it doesn't show how many time what is the number it doesn't show let's say shaitan but it doesn't show how many time hmm. where we will find how many time <clears throat> let us do it again I will type shaitan Here we go. It's 68. I am I am searching in the dictionary. 68 time. When I used it, it was 88. And as you see, look here, if you look with me, it says a yeah. shaitan. Not even just only a shaitan, which means it's showing us all the roots. So wait, even wait. with all the roots, we did not receive the 88. We receive only 68. Wait, wait. Can hmm. you um for uh, for example, can you type in how many times Allah is mentioned? How many times the word Allah mentioned? Okay, no problem. Here we go. I will type Allah. It's not working. Give an error. You see, I type Allah. And... It's better to uh, type it in English instead of Arabic. Yeah, but in Arabic will not give us an accurate because Allah, sometimes they put the word Allah, but it's not there. Because sometimes the translator he add the word Allah to explain to you that Allah is the one is talking, right? So we yeah, have to do it. We have to do it in Arabic, right? Let us go here and see Allah. How many times Allah appear? I will type the word Allah in the search engine. Both are your Islamic websites. I mean, it is one thousand five hundred sixty-six times. How many times is Allah mentioned? One thousand five hundred sixty-six times. Uh, but you can see it under how many times it's actually mentioned because Allah is also mentioned my friend they can my friend let me go to another website I will help you okay just to make you happy yeah but search uh, the word... search truth.com I will go to search truth.com okay hold on this is the word which word do you want me to search Allah yeah okay in the in here it's 1746 time it's actually not accurate because Allah is mentioned 2,699. Okay, it says here all the words. That's a false search, my friend. You see, it says all the words. Not one. Any word, let me put any word. Here we go. Let's see if the number will increase. Still the same. If we may exact phrase, and this should be exact phrase actually, that will make it 1,567. So the Muslim they fabricate for us. Let us go to Shaitan. Let us see Shaitan. They say Shaitan. Hold on. Dunya, Dunya. They said eighty-eight and Akhara is eighty-eight. Let us do the Dunya. Dunya. Type Dunya in the front of your eyes. Dunya. Okay. Hold. Hold. Click search. The word Dunya not even found once. If we do exact, I will do any word because yeah. always come as a Dunya, not Dunya, right? A Dunya, not Dunya. So here. Yeah. Okay, we will find that the word dunya appear 111 times, not 88 as they said. So why they lie? If we say the word akhirah, let me let us type the word akhirah because they said the word dunya is 88 and the word akhirah, which means the hereafter, is 88. Okay, it's 110. Why they lie? Where is the 88? If we type yeah. the word, let us go on to the to the website. This says the word malaika. 
is 88 and shaitan we, we check that is already is a lie the word life is 145 and the word death is 145 let's check that no that's false that's false right so why they are lying my friend as long as you are yourself you are saying to me this is false why they are lying no but the angel and devil and what on here after is actually true which one the angels yeah. the angels and the shaitan 88 yeah no my friend here we go let me do it again in front of your yeah. eyes let me do it let me after do it after your after your stream i'll send the uh, my friend no no my friend let me show it you send me the link i say I, I try your website i try this website i try the other website it's a lie okay let us see El -malaika. which one it was in the english it was okay hold on shaitan satan you, you want to you want to try English if English will make it appear more let us try English no problem here we yeah. go I will do English no problem I will make you happy English here we go I will do English which translation you want yeah, just do devil hmm big tile okay just let's see big tile okay here we go it is it appeared 32 time in you the English to, translation of big tile yeah but you have to do it on my website and then click okay, let us do it on your website. No problem. Let us do it in your website. I will type the word shaitan. Isn't it funny that the word shaitan will appear to you in English but will not appear in, in Arabic? It's yeah, not even it funny. Shows you no, it you shows see, you because my, my friend, your Quran dictionary work only with the Arabic, not with English. When I type the word in there, it doesn't even appear. Here we go. I will type the word shaitan for you. Look with me. This is the word. This is English shaitan. I click go. It says zero, not found. So your dictionary here work only in Arabic and if I type Arabic guess what it's false number two here we go this is your website shaitan yeah. it appears 68 times do you see it yeah, yeah but can you type in devil devil there's no devil in Quran this is shaitan shaitan is a devil your dictionary work only in Arabic are you listening no no it, it doesn't actually you have to type it in you know good uh, type it in what for, for example just type in uh, forgiveness Forgi in, in English okay forgiveness so if we type forgiveness that will appear and, and then click on the Quran dictionary okay I will type forgiveness for you in the search engine let us see how many times going to appear okay it appears 75 times 75 time what? 75 time in your website they lie to you so even in English and, and by the oh. way how I can search for the word in English shouldn't you search for it in Arabic because this is an Arabic book yeah but though after you type it in in, in English to show you all the verses where it's measured yeah in only, okay it's 75 time what they say in their That's website all. well let us go and find forgiveness in here how many times the word forgiveness appear here let's see it is love to God, my friend. All is a hopeless, all is a lie. Where is the word forgiveness? I don't see it. Do you see the word forgiveness? I see yeah. blessing, I see magic, I see uh, Iblis, I see benefit, life shit. I don't see forgiveness. Do you see yeah, forgiveness? I'll show you, I'll show you. Hmm. I'll send it to you in the link. Hmm. You know, I have a challenge to all the Muslims to make a video and show us the numbers they claim. It's a big fat lie. All those numbers are a big fat lie. There's nothing truthful there. Uh, I, I send it. All right. Let us see. All right. Okay, Maghfira. How many times the word Maghfira? It doesn't count. Where, where the count is? Let's check. You have to go all the way up. And you think about forgive, not only Maghfira. Maghfira, Yaghfiru, Yastaghfiru, Sayaghfiru, etc. 
So this will show you all the total of the words. Is it? All. Okay. Yeah. But okay, money. How many? How many according to you? Me. How many according to your uh, your miracle? How many we should have? The word Maghfira. Uh, Two hundred and forty-three. Uh, Two hundred and forty-three. Two hundred and thirty-four. Is you can count one in like not too many. Is some uh, thirty something is. Up. Let's see here. If we one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. So every let us see. Okay. You see, hold on. Look, look, look. I will. I will measure here space. I will measure my space here. I will highlight with my pen. Every this is the frame. If we have a frame, ten. So every one of them is ten. So okay, this is ten. Oh, hold on. Let us be sure. Let us be sure. Sound is broken in the live stream. No call, guys. Some people are saying that. Guys, do you hear me? Is the sound good? I'm breaking. Okay, they are saying I'm, I'm saying break, that my voice is breaking. Do you hear me, my friend? Yeah. I hear you. Okay. Uh, Christian Prince. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to claim the word. Uh, uh, forgiveness is mentioned twice as more as reward or punishment. Okay, what is the poor word punishment in Arabic? Uh, no, uh, punishment or reward. Okay, uh, hold on. You know what? I, I, I found a solution. Look at this. The word, uh, the, the word, okay, it says here, that the word occur 234. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. What is the word you say? You want the opposite word? Uh, no, it's mentioned twice as more. As, what is uh, that? Payment or reward. What is the word for reward? Sorry. What is the word you want me to search for? Um, I'll, I'll send it to you. No, no. Tell me the word. What is the word? Uh, it's payment or reward. It's. Uh, I think it's called jizya. Jizya is a reward. Jizya is a yeah. penalty. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, you mean jaza? Yeah, something. Oh, okay. Wait, I'll send it to you. Okay. What is the connection between ghafra and the word reward? How we can make connection? They are not the opposite in, in the meaning. Yeah, yeah. I'll send in Bukhara. My mercy overpowers my wrath. Yeah, my friend. But this is not. Have nothing to do with each other. What this, what the word ghafara, which means forgive, and the word reward have to do together. The, yeah, you have to compare between part. ghafara and and uh, he, he did not uh, uh, forgive, forgive and not forgive. We 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 have like you say angel and say shaitan as an example, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. How many time you told me? Uh, as long now we figure out how this thing works. How many time the word shaitan should appear? Eighty eight time. Correct. Yes. Okay. I will type the word chip on. Okay. That would be easier. Chip on. All right. See? The word chip on is 68. Okay, what is the other word? The other word is Malaika. You see the same website? I'm not using a new website. I mean, this is this is your website. Malaika, right? Let's see how many times the word Malaika will appear. I will copy. So Shaitan is 68, not 88. And now yeah. I will go here and I will post the word Malaika. Yeah, okay. I'll show you. All right. Hold my, my friend. It, here we go. It says here that even Malaika here is coming as 68. So yeah. it, both numbers are wrong because 88 in, in your website, it says, in your Islamic claim, here is coming 68. Yeah, I'll send it to you right now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Shaitan. Okay. But doesn't say how many times here. How many times? How many times? 
88. Ah, 88. Okay, Shaitan. So what? How? What? What did you type there? Um, I I used my uh, I used a uh, I went on some guy's Facebook and I copied that link. No, no, no. How? This is a link. So this is a this is a prepared link. Is not a search. Is it a no, search? No. no. no uh, the other one I gave you was a was not a prepared one. I my friend, how come in the search? This is a prepared. This is their claim. So they are fabricating things because when we click at the search, how come we don't find the same result? Yeah, but the other one about uh, forgiveness, I uh, I searched it myself, but I didn't know how to. My friend, uh, type let sheet. me let me show you. Let me show you what the Muslims they are showing you. Here we go. This is your website, the one you sent me. Do you see the word there? Yes. Okay. This is not shaitan. This is a lie. Because these letters are missing. Where is here? It says ish ta noon. Do you see the letters? Ish ta noon. But shaitan is not ish ta noon. There's ya, there's alif is missing. So look what they do. They took off letters and they made their own their own uh, uh, false list to make it fit with their claim. If you wanna if you wanna search for shaitan, then search for shaitan. Why they are not typing the word shaitan? If you go here, you will see. They are saying this is the word shaitan. Do you see the word shaitan? Yes. This is the word shaitan in the correct way. But what they are searching for? This or this? Because if I type the same word, here we go. I, I will copy the same word in the front of you. This is the word shaitan. The same as it is in their website. Okay? I would do copy. And then I will yes. go to the search engine. And I will pause the word shaitan. And then I will click. Let me make it wider so you can see. I will click at go. Ah, oh, it's not coming. Click again. It's not coming. It's an error. Oh. My friend, all is all of this is a fabrication. It's not true. Yeah. All of yeah, this is fabrication. True. All of this I'll is fabrication. You. This is this is proving to be false. And I made many tons of videos about it. And you know, yeah, but... uh, uh, let us say for the sake of argument. There's a book have equal numbers of words. Is that really proof that this is from God? So Allah says that hmm. nobody could produce a book like the Quran. Okay, but uh, but Muhammad, Muhammad, he received satanic verses, and Muhammad himself did not discover that this is satanic verses. At the same yeah. time, if nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah, isn't it Omar who said that Allah he took Quran from me? Isn't it Omar who said or Omar he said that? Yeah. Allah, He agree with me in three things. Actually, some they say five and some they say eight. وَفَقَنِي رَبِّي فِي ثَلَاثٍ Allah agree with me in three things. And even the the uh, Allah, uh, uh, He sent the verses exactly as He said, read with me. Omar said, I agreed with Allah in three things or said, my Lord agreed with me in three things. I said, Oh Allah Apostle, would you took the station of Abraham as a, as a station for a prayer? I also said, Oh Allah Apostle, uh, good and bad persons visit you. So he, he's repeating. So the, the Kaaba, why Muslim they pray to the Kaaba? Because Omar, he says so. Why the Muslim men they have, uh, the Muslim women they have to wear hijab? Because Omar, he was making fun of the wife of Muhammad Sauda and he said to her, Arif Naki, ya Sauda, she was doing poo poo. Why you Muslims? Uh, 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 why Muhammad he uh, made the verses about uh, threatening his wife to get divorced? Because Omar said so exactly. And look, it says here. And Allah he sent the verse as I said. So Omar he made Quran, and Allah copied the Quran of Omar. So how the how Muslim they say that uh, 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 nobody can make Quran, but Allah Himself taking the Quran from Omar. Yeah. How this happened? If I am Omar. And I just said something, and then Allah, He take it and He make a Quran. Yeah. How this can be? What do you think? Mm. Did Allah edit it to His Quran? Yes, and He Allah. took it as it is. He's showing you. He's showing you that even even the Kaaba, it was it was a choice of uh, of Omar. You know. Yeah. It was maybe. the choice of Omar, my friend. It was not. It was not the choice of Muhammad or Allah. And not only that. Uh, 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 he he added. He says, and then Allah He sent it exactly as I said. Yeah. So how this can be? Nobody can make Quran, but Allah He is copying Quran from Omar. What do you say? 
Do you see? Do you see with me in the screen? It says, "As I said." Do you see it? Just to yeah. show you, I'm not making things up. Read with me. So the verse, the verse, huh, revealed the same as I had said was revealed. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but nobody can make Quran. <laughs> nobody can make Quran. But Allah is copying Omar words and making it Quran. The only explanation I can give is that Allah knew that Omar would do that, and He added that to His. Wow. My friend, he should inspire Muhammad or, or 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 Omar. Who is the one, the prophet here? Look like you Muslims. You have two prophets. You have Omar and you have Muhammad. Because if Omar, why Muhammad? Actually, I can show you that uh, uh, Omar he was saying to Muhammad to order to the hijab many times, and Muhammad don't respond. And so you are saying to me that Allah he knew Omar will say that, right? Okay. There's one of two options. Either Allah inspired Omar to say so, and that make Omar a prophet of God. And now you have two Muslim prophet of God, Muhammad and Omar. Do you Muslims believe that Omar was a prophet? He prophesied for God. No, no, we don't. Okay. That. Why Allah did not say the verses to Muhammad before Omar mentioned them? Uh, sorry. Why Allah did not inspire? Why? Why Omar is the one? Okay. Look! Look how important the topic. Prayer to the Kaaba. It was the idea of Omar. This is very important. You Muslims now, you are, you are praying in direction of the Kaaba because of Omar. He is the one who made the verses. And obviously, Muhammad, he heard Omar. He took it. He liked what he said. He put it in the Quran as it is. This is exactly what happened. This guy, he hear things and he added it as it is in his Quran. And Omar, he noticed that. He noticed this is what I said to him. This is why he's saying the verses came as I said. Omar is not stupid. I am the one who said that to him. Yeah, yeah. And he was saying that in the front of Muhammad, not in his back, right? Did Muhammad yeah. say to him, No, you did not say that to me? No. Did he say to me, He said, No, because Muhammad, he knew he was a student from Omar. So yeah. if this is inspiration of God coming from God to Muhammad, and the Quran is a miracle, and nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Muhammad, how the Quran is copied from Omar? Mm. That is a stupid. At the same time, uh, you know, when the Muslims they count the words in the Quran, and then we find that all the words they count is nothing but a fiction and a lie. Why? Why they are coming with those fictions? And what is the point? Trying to make the Quran a miracle? Let me let me show you that the Muslims when they do that they expose Allah. Let me show you, my friend. Is it Allah? He said in the Quran that Allah refrained from sending miracles. Yeah. Okay. How Allah he refrained from sending miracles? But yet the count of the numbers of the words is a miracle according to Muslims. That's mean Allah is a liar. Chapter mm. chapter 17, verse number 59. Read with me carefully, my friend. And we yeah. refrain, we refrain from sending signs only because the men of former generation treated them as false. So Allah refrained. Yeah, but me but the Quran uh, for, for example, if the Quran has miracles, then Allah is actually mentioning the actual miracles uh, from sending signs is well if if, uh, if the numbers of the words are are miracle too that's means a miracle so either you say it's an actual miracle or you say it's a fabrication we made why muhammad did not know that why muhammad did not say to you the word shaitan mentioned 88 time and the word angel mentioned 880 time you do not know right you will say to me muhammad do not know so you muslims you know what muhammad do not know that would be funny the prophet himself who brought the book to you he do not know this is an insult to Muhammad actually. That's mean Muhammad did not know what he brought. That's mean Allah did not tell him. That's mean Allah inspired you and he did not inspire Muhammad. That's mean you are a prophet. The one who discovered this which is false is a prophet. This is all the Muslims they are desperate trying to find the miracle for their prophet who have no miracles. We have yeah. Jesus who resurrect people from death. We have Jesus who make the blind see. We have Jesus who, who created from the mother bird. We have Jesus who can tell you even what you hide in your houses. And the Quran says nobody knows the unseen save Allah, correct? But Jesus yeah. can tell you what you hide in your houses. So all of this for Jesus, but Muhammad have zero. And the Quran confirmed that Allah, he refrained from sending miracle. And then you say to me that nobody can make Quran like Quran, correct? Yeah. Okay. But how he say? Hold on, my friend. How he say nobody can make Quran like this Quran? But he says in the same time we refrain from sending miracle because by saying this verse you just made a miracle. If the Quran is a miracle. Yeah, but it's actually mentioning the real types, uh, the real, uh, uh, the 
real types of miracles that cannot be, for example, when Jesus, for, for example, blind uh, healed the sick or healed the blind. Mm. Those are miracles that science can't explain, mm. right? It's mm. mentioning it's actually mentioning uh, mentioning that types of miracles. Real miracles, not but like my, my friend, Quran. my friend. Where in the Quran it says he is mentioning that kind of miracle, not a miracle. I mean, if the Quran isn't it, the Quran says that uh, make a book like this if you can. And you Muslim, you keep saying that this is a miracle. So now suddenly the Quran is not a miracle. Either we say it's a miracle, or we say it's not a miracle. There is no su such a thing, such a type of miracle. Miracle is a miracle. God miracle is is a miracle. So obviously the Muslim, they are desperate to try to find something about their God to make it look like there is something amazing. Same time, what kind of God? He says stupid things. Do you think God, he speaks stupid? No. Okay. How Allah, he created the baby in the Quran. Is it true that Allah, he says that he made the, the sperm became a, a congealed blood? It says alaqa. Huh? Yeah, alaqa. What alaqa mean? Is it, isn't it alaqa? Mean a congealed yeah. blood, dead blood? How would such a mistake happen? Uh, it means uh, class of blood, it means a leech and it means hanging. No, leech, leech, my friend, alaqa in Arabic mean a congealed dead blood. Alaqa is not the same as al alaqa. When you speak about an insect, that is different. He did not say al alaqa, he said, thumma nutfa, thumma alaqa. So, did your God Allah speak about the insect? It's called alaqa, or He speak about something else, which is the blood? It is the blood. Not, so, alaqa not, doesn't mean a leech. No, no. It is. It is the dead blood, which usually, you know, if you if you injure yourself, if you injure yourself, you will have a piece of a blood covering your skin, right, from the injury location to stop the bleeding. Correct. Yeah. That is alaqa. I can go right now and show you what it says in the dictionary. Not only that, if we go to all Islamic interpretation or translation, we will find all of them. They agree that this is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why? Okay. Let me ask you. Why all the Muslim translation or interpretation don't say that alaqa mean a leech, or mm -hmm. as an insect? Why they don't mention that? Simply because it's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why does it the Quran? Dictionary say that it is a leech. This is a fabrication. This is not dictionary. This is a lie. Muslim, they are lying, my friend. This is no leech. Here we go. Which interpretation you like me to show you, my friend? Choose for yeah. me any interpretation of your choice in the front of everybody. I will show it to you in the screen. Because yeah. if they are saying that that website is made to fabricate and designed to fabricate and to lie, otherwise you need to show me one Muslim interpreter. He come with the interpretation that this is a word mean etc. Uh, unless all the Muslims who do interpretation, they are liars. You know. Yeah. So here we go. What what is the verse we are talking about? Okay. Let us see. But Let us see. Allah which verse you want me, my friend? Which which one? Which verse you want me to to check for you about Allah? There is many verses mentioned the word Allah. Which verse you want me? Choose one of your your choices. Uh, you can just speak. <clears throat> Which one? There's 22.5. Uh, uh, there is uh, uh, 23.14. What do you want? Uh, you can uh, pick. Okay, 23.14, because this is a short one. Okay. But, but be, before before we go there, do you see here it says, ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُّطْفَ عَلَقَ دَمًا جَامِدًا فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَ مُضْغَ لَحْمَ قَدْرُ مَا يُمْضَى let me translate for you. Those who speak Arabic, they knew. Thumma khalaqna nutfa alaqa, frozen blood, or let us say, uh, solid blood. A nutfa became alaqa, which is a solid blood. All right? And this is what? Yeah. This is the interpretation of Ajjalalain. I will show you Ajjalalain in English, the same one. Okay? 2314 in English. And this is our problem with Muslims. There's no, there is no, you know, uh, uh, honesty. Here we go. Yeah. This is Tafsir al the, the same one I showed you in Arabic. It is now in English, translated by you. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Read with me carefully. Then we transformed the drop of semen into a clot, congealed blood. What congealed blood mean? 
blood. Dead blood. That's a big mistake. This is not yeah, alaqa. Not, this is not the alaqa they told you in the in their dictionary, which is a false dictionary. Alaqa never was this. So uh, are you an insect? Alaqa is an insect. The one you are talking about is an insect. Is the Quran saying that Allah transform the sperm into an insect? No, but the shape of the body. My friend, there's no shape of the body. He's talking about the transform. What trans, you know, transform the sperm. So, secondly, the, sp the sperm does not look look at the mistake here. He says a nutfa. A nutfa is a drop of a sperm, which means millions of semen. Yeah. Okay, that's a mistake because only one is semen only one not a drop will be going inside the egg secondly the semen will not be transformed into anything the semen go inside the egg and activate the egg and then the egg start to growing the semen activate and deliver dna and that's it after that there is no semen correct yeah okay but here it says that we transformed the semen which is a drop of semen not one into so what is it transforming the semen correct yeah that's stupid yeah but are you sure that Allah doesn't mean leech is it, even if it's a leech let us say it's a leech just to go with you the semen will not transform into anything and will not be a leech you can go right now check all the doctors website who they are not Christians or Muslims or Jewish just say check normal you know you will see that this is a big 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 joke right so how this can how this is can be a miracle from God but God he says stupid things in different verse in the Quran your God he says in chapter as long as we are talking about the baby in chapter 86 verse number 7 Allah he says that Allah he created a human being from gushing fluid sexual gushing fluid coming from the male and the female but the gushing fluid from the female is coming from her ribs how God makes such a stupid mistake this is Tafsir Jalalain. this is a chapter 86 verse number 7 read with me issuing from between the lions by the way it doesn't say lions it says the backbone of the man a soul of the man and the breast bones of the women do you see it yeah so now we have a sperm where the sperm is coming from we have a sperm of a man and sperm of a woman and that is stupid because women don't have a sperm but where does it say that it is a sperm of a woman? here we go chapter verse number six it says that a human being is created from gushing fluid and then the verse number after it it says the gushing fluid coming from where it says read with me uh the response is he was created from a gushing fluid gushing forth from the man and the women into the womb so what is the gushing fluid it's a fluid and there's nowhere in any scientific study anybody came to us and says that there's a gushing fluid will go to the womb yeah. this is again a mistake and then uh, the, your quran continues saying explaining what he's saying in verse number seven where is this gushing fluid coming from he says from from the man and the women from the man from the backbone and from the women from the ribs and specifically the location of the necklace and that's again is a stupid mistake so the muslims are trying to find the miracle in the quran but obviously this book is a stupid book god will not say such a thing maybe Umar al khattab he made those verses <laughs> what do you think how god he say that So what do you think, my friend? Should we leave Islam? Um, this is can't be God talking, and you agreed already. Yeah, but even if it's an error, but the Quran also has many coincidences that it gets difficult to decide if it's if is if Islam is wrong or true. Okay, but 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 you just agreed that this is an error, right? Uh, from, uh, the semen coming from between the back. Yeah. And okay. So how Allah he is God and he, he make errors. Yeah, but at the same time, how God, uh, how Allah can make errors, but at the same time, how Allah can make uh, miracles because Allah also. Where is the miracle of Allah? Allah? Where, okay, show me the miracle of Allah. Go ahead. 
Allah also explains where milk comes from the cow. Oh, where? Says, where? Where? Where is uh, the? Where is the verse explain how the milk come from the cow? Oh, I'll share it real hmm. quick. Right. What chapter? What verse? Chapter 16, verse uh, 66. Chapter what? 66? No, uh, chapter 16, verse 66. Chapter 16, verse number 66. Here we go. All right, let us laugh together. Do you promise me you will laugh with me if it's funny? Sorry? You promise me you will laugh with me if what you just said is funny? Where is where is the explanation how the milk is made? No, it uh, actually explaining how hmm. how the milk comes from the from the belly to the penis. It says it comes between the the milk comes from the belly to the penis. No, yeah, yeah, from that. What penis? So you you believe that milk come to the penis? How else do they make milk? Penis. Uh, they have several penises. I don't know. Ah, that's penises. That, that is nipples, as I know. <laughs> okay, look, look what it says with me here. Uh, we give you to drink of that which is in their billies. Now, is the milk in their billies? Yes. Really? How come? You can, you can ask any scientist. Mm, okay. Let us see if we go right now and search. Okay. From betwixt the refuse and the blood, we extract pure milk. This is the interpretation. Do you agree with that? I okay, okay. Let us go and see what is that is about. If we change, by the way, the I will show you the other interpretation so we can see all the Muslims' explanation. Uh, okay, cattle. Listen, we give you the drink. Introduced an example of listen that which is in the belly of the cattle. Billies. From mine indicate a new subject and similarity connection. Uh, okay, we give you a drink from between the refuse of essential waste and the blood, the pure milk. Okay, I'm going to go, to go right now and I will Again, search. Go. Hold on, let me search in Google. I will search in Google and we will see how milk is generated. How milk in goat or cow you can oh. even go on the uh, youtube and see just type in youtube how cows uh, how cows make milk and they'll show you there's a video about it okay we will see we cannot play videos of somebody else yeah okay let us see and I'm, I'm looking i'm trying to find a website but here i don't see Okay. Mm, here it doesn't show us for you too much details. Let's see the front website. Education University. Let us see. Okay. <coughs> Advertising. Okay, it, uh, all right, it, hold on, let us see, but it doesn't show anything. Next, okay, let us see, this is like uh, <clears throat> how dairy cow make milks is really cool. Okay, so dairy cows have four stomachs, each plays as different part of digesting what cow eat. All right, the first stomach is called rumen. The su second stomach is called Reticulum. The third stomach is called omsum. The fourth stomach is called abosum. Dairy cows swallow their food half chewed. And then the food travel to the first stomach of the Roman. Uh, okay. 
were mixed with water. It's moved to the second stomach. In the second stomach, the rectum, the food passed to the small balls of called cod. Each cod is, let me be sure that you guys, you can see everything, hold on. It's my fault, you cannot see everything. Let me zoom out. Let us turn this thing off. All right, that's better. All right. Okay, so uh, each could uh, return to the mouth to be chewed again. All right, the food then moved to the third stomach. With each cud uh, squashed to remove water, then move to the fourth stomach. In the fourth stomach, the abomasum, the food is digested, and and it then move into small intestine yeah. the yeah. instant take okay no train yeah. from the food and send it to the blood stream okay some of this blood full of natural uh, nutrients move to under etc okay change natural milk store and the chew milk all right most dairy cow produce 25 liter okay yeah. Anyway, if we go back to the verse, my friend, the verse in the front of me. You see, when the Muslim they translate, they try to to uh, 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 to make things uh, fit with their own idea. If you read in the verse in Arabic, it says, من بين فرث ودم لبنا خالصا سائغا. What is the firth? Do you know what firth mean? No. Okay. Let us go to firth. Let me show you. We will go to the dictionary. Actually, you know what? Let us do this. Go to the Arabic one because always the Arabic one is different from the English. But let us go here first in the dictionary. Okay. First, uh, it says the balls. Do you see it? Yeah. Karimatul Quran. Okay. Balls. Is that what it says in the scientist uh, teaching? No. Okay. <clears throat> so, what we will do now with the balls? Uh, where does it say balls? It's, it's it's in the front of you. The, you see it here. Yeah. Here, actually, uh, it says. Uh, if we take the same word, let me show you, my friend. You see, this is your uh, this is your Islamic dictionary, and you see here it says next to it, "Farthin karimat al Quran." This is the word as it's mentioned in the Quran. Okay, this is how it's mentioned in the Quran, and then uh, there's other meaning. The pra uh, the particles of food in a in a stain. Uh, first thing, let us see which one is the one is mentioned. First is hissul alam. Okay, first in Arabic mean al ghait mean the piss. Let us make it simple. If we go in the Quran and we search for the same word. You see, this is the word firth, and the word yeah. firth is always the piss from their piss. The Muslims in their translation, that word totally disappear. If we go to the Arabic dictionary, I will post the word firth here as it is, and we go to dictionary. And this is the same chat that we are reading from. <clears throat> so it says, according. Okay, read so, with me. Read with me, friend. Read, no, read, read, read with me. Read with me. Uh, uh, first, this is the same verse we are reading. Arroth yeah. al mawjud fil Quran. Do you know what arroth mean? No. The shit. What? 
the shit a roth a roth what is this is chapter here we go they are even quoting for you the Quran ما في الكرش من من الثفل what is inside the belly what is that here it says الروث الموجود في الكرش في الكرش الروث is shit so your Quran saying you see in the translation when we read it's really confusing but your Quran saying it clearly that what is coming from the shit uh, your God claim that from the shit of the cow because this is a roth this is not even a food from the shit of the cow Allah will give you the milk but read with me carefully first a nahl a sarjain a zibul wa madama fil karish yusamma al furtha this is your islamic dictionary not mine i'm not saying anything so how so according to the dictionary it says we give you a drink let me, let me give you a link my friend so you will not say i'm making things up here we go this is your islamic dictionary i will send it to you you can check it out in your time all right and you can check the words here we go you can open it in your side i can take right now i can go to google translation copy this and go to google translation Doesn't it mean bowels or something like that? Well, it's, uh, this is what the refs mean. It's uh, it's the it's the shit. No, now you see, we are just going even in, in dictionary is showing you that this is the verse where the word is mentioned. Okay, we go to Google, Google Translation. I'm going to paste the word in Arabic as it is, and I'm going to switch to English. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So what what the Muslims they try to say in their interpretation uh, as English is totally different from what it says really in the Quran, because the Quran is saying and and you know we watched the video together where it says how the food goes, but nowhere it says that this has became shit. Right. Yeah. Okay. But the Quran is saying it's coming from the shit. And again, I give you the link. Here we go. All right. Read with me carefully. Yeah. Min baini farthi an nahl. This is a chapter an nahl, verse number sixty-six. Do you see it? Yeah. So there's no mistake that he is trying to explain something else, and this is al roth al mojudu fil karsh, the shit which is in the karsh. We took it to Google translation. It's coming as the dunk which is in the belly. Yeah. So what the verse is saying that we extract from the uh, uh, from the billy, uh, from the shit which is in the billy, and from the blood, a milk for you. But this is really absolutely false. Let us go to Arabic. Well, Let us see some Arabic uh, interpretation. Maybe doesn't it, say, uh, doesn't it say that it comes between the, like between the dung and the blood? Yeah, yeah, like, but you know, but uh, but it says shit. I mean, how the roth, how how yeah. the, how the, how, the, how how that will be. Uh, let us read together here. This is the uh, Al Qurtubi in Arabic. Let us see if Al Qurtubi can give us something. You know what? Let us go and see uh, Ibn Kathir in English. Even though I, 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 uh, an Ibn Kathir in English always they lie in their in their interpretation, but let us see. Let us so people they can read with me. This is uh, An Nahl, sixteen, verse number sixty-six. Okay, let us see what it says. And this is in English, so people they can read with me. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay, provide a drink from their belly. Okay, let us see. Meaning it's free of a blood. And pure, you see, it's free of blood. It's not even saying extract from blood. Yeah, it says it's free it... from blood. Okay, hold on. Let us see. And it's pure in witnesses, taste and sweetness. Have nothing to do how it's really. And then it says, you see, in the in the in the uh, uh, in that Muslim translation, they say we extract. Correct. Yeah. Okay. What is the word extract? 
Do you see the word so, extract? It says ma bayna farthin wa damin Lebanon khalisan. No so no no where it says extract and let us continue. And this is Ibn Kathir so, as you see. Okay. So it's not uh, describing the progress of the milk. Read with me carefully, my friend. But each of them goes its own way after the food has been fully digested in the stomach. The blood goes to the vein. This is Ibn Kathir, who has came long after Muhammad, trying to explain with you know this is when science became so advanced. The milk goes to the end of the urine, uh, 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 goes to the bladder, and uh, uh, feces goes to the anus. None of them get mixed together. This has have nothing to do with extracting from shit or etc. The what, what the God of Islam is saying to you? Here we go. The, the 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 cow eat and you get milk and the milk is not mixed with their blood either with their sh shit that's all read it in front of you right yeah okay same uh, by the way as long as we are talking about here in the same verse in the quran the same chapter we are reading from it says if you go if you go uh, you will find the following And we will go to Ibn Kathir in the same time. Uh, the Quran says the same thing about the honey. The honey in chapter 66, it's chapter 16, sorry. Verse number 69, the same chapter. If we go a few verses after, you will see that the God of Islam says that there is the 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 honey of the bees is shit is literally the shit let me, let me show you uh, let us go to Ibn Kathir 16 we go up but the honey spook there uh, the uh, the nectar that they, that they suck is they're gonna uh, they are they are going to puke that out right no my friend you see the the Quran says let me show you the verse in the Quran it says that the the uh, the bees they eat from the fruit and they shit milk they shit the honey. Read with me carefully. This is chapter sixteen, verse number sixty nine. Yeah. Okay, we go down. Let us let us show the other website because that will be more clear. Okay, let us see. Maybe Allah meant that uh, they eat from the fruits means that. Yeah, but the, no, that. no, no. It says no. It says that they eat from the fruit and honey come from their belly. They eat from the fruit and honey come from their belly and this is stupid the because you are saying to me they eat already they eat but they don't eat the fruits the honey is their food so the god of islam he think that that uh, the the what what the what the bees do they go and eat from the fruit so when we see them going around in the flowers and the roses what they are doing exactly they are eating the flowers and then their shit is honey that's wonderful I wish my shit is the same. Excuse my language. You know, <laughs> I wish that will happen to me, so I can say it out. So here, if we go, okay, uh, chapter Maybe. sixteen, verse number sixty-nine. Read with me carefully, my friend. Which translation is your favorite? Uh, you can just speak. All right. Then they eat of all pro pro produce of the earth. In Arabic, it says uh, uh, fruit, not produce. But anyway, and find with the skills of speech, spy, species, baths of the Lord. They are issued from within their body a drink, a very, uh, a very color, wherein is healing for man. So what they eat, they eat from the the, the fruit, and they do dump the honey. And this is absolutely false. The honey is their food; it's not something else. Yeah, so, but. Uh, can it mean that Allah is trying to explain here that the honey, the bees sees the uh, the flowers as fruits? No, my friend. The the you see, the Quran even says like, fruits, not only flowers, because bees they go to anything is sweet, even if it's fruit, not necessarily really, uh, uh, not not necessarily uh, uh, roses or flowers. Bees, if they see something sweet, they suck it too. They suck the what it's called the juice of it, and they take it to the hive. And it's not even the one who go and collect is the one who make it honey. What the Quran saying? <clears throat> do you see the word eat, my friend? I'm not making things up. Do you see it says eat 
of all okay. fruits okay but they don't eat from the fruit and then a drink will come from her belly so what the Quran is teaching that those bees they make honey not not really for their food it's their shit they eat they ate the fruit and they shit honey if we go right now to any interpretation which one you like you want me to go to a the same the same in the or different one we can go here we go choose one uh, it's up to you uh, you know it doesn't matter really Ch uh, chapter 16 verse number 69 let us see chapter 16 we go to English <clears throat> Verse number 69, we go to Ibn Abbas first, the cousin of your prophet. Okay, read with me carefully. Then eat of all the fruits, explanation, from all type of fruits, and follow ways the Lord made smooth for thee, made a truck table for you. There comes from their belly, from their belly of the bees, a drink, Various of uh, uh, hues, uh, red, yellow, white. This is the color of the honey. Healing for mankind and illness. Okay. Um, it's very simple. Eat from the fruit. And the honey is a miracle from Allah for us. So Allah, he made the eat bees eat fruit and shed honey. That's not right. That's absolutely false. Right. Doesn't the honey emerge in the stomach of the bee? My friend, yes. first of all, for uh, you see, the this is not a the, the the bee is the one who make the the honey. Uh, they have they call them they call them stomach, but they are not stomach because they don't eat the honey there. You see, like the the bee who go and collect the nectar, bring it back in her tongue is not even in her belly. Then she give it to other bees, and then they vibrate over it. And they they have their own method to to make that nectar into honey, and they don't they don't eat it right away, they spit it out from their mouth, and then that is the honey which is collected. We collect from them. They save it for later to eat it. This is their food. What the Quran is saying that the honey is eaten from the fruit, and it's coming from their belly, which means they shit it. The same as what he said about the bakhara, the cow or the cattle, that you know the, the milk is not mixing, like it's a miracle how the how they eat grass and the grass became shit and they have a blood in their body, but the milk is not mixing with them. So the Quran is not explaining how the milk became milk. The Quran is saying is not mixed, it's a miracle. The same as the Quran says, you remember the Muslim they say to us that the two uh, uh uh, the two uh, uh, the two seas they don't mix the fresh and the salty. Do you remember that one? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, that okay. is correct, right? Yeah, but this is false. No. Why? why? Okay, let us see why. Because <laughs> simply, what the Quran is saying, and this is in chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-three, and chapter five, uh, uh, verse number nineteen, that. Uh, Allah he made a barrier between the fresh water and the salty <laughs> water so they will never ever mix they, they, yeah. he forbid them from meeting together do you see it? it says forbid them forbidden ban between them do you see it yeah so the Muslims in order to make a miracle they fabricate the story and they, they forget it says here forbidden they say this is about the fresh water and salty water in the sea because why it says that there is Two seas, but all of us we know that fresh water is not a sea. That is a mistake. The reason for that mistake, Muhammad he is saying here that there's two seas. One sea is the fresh water, and one sea is the salty water. Do you agree with that term? That there's two seas? Um, yeah. There is. Where? Where is the sea of the fresh water? No, uh, he's just saying that there is a salty uh, sea and a fresh sea. Okay, where is the fresh sea? No, you see, when we say sea, we have to have a huge amount of water equal to a sea. That we call it a sea, yeah. correct? Okay, but we didn't have such a thing. But what Muhammad he is teaching here, that because the Arab, whatever they dig, like I say, you can dig in the ground and you find the water, right? Like not everywhere, but mostly you can find, right? Uh, so Muhammad he believed 
that it's a miracle that Allah he forbid the salty water from the fresh uh, fresh water from mixing together so we have two seas we have two containers and they are yeah. forbidden totally from meeting how he forbid them if we go to the interpretation let me show you my friend again this is a chapter 25 verse number 53 we go to Ibn Kathir as long as it's open all right Well, this website is not working okay 25 and then verse number 53 we'll read it from 51 and after all right let us see what it says here and this is by the way Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar trying to defend the Quran but still I use him to get things busted because Ibn Kathir came long, long after Muhammad, because now he became more people became more educated and they notice how stupid the Quran is. So he tried to explain. So here we go. And he is has he has let free the two seas. This is platable and sweet, and that is salty and bitter. Means he created two kinds of water, sweet and salty. The salt is sweet and uh, water is like in the river, spring and wells, which is a fresh, sweet platable water this was the view of Ibn Juraj etc etc okay and we continue uh, and that is salty water meaning that salty water is not easy to swallow blah 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 okay now he says here and that can be found in the Red Sea in the Arabian Sea in the Persian Gulf in China Sea blah 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 all right and then he says and he made between them a barrier do you see the, the the screen my friend yeah okay yes, a barrier and complete partition complete complete that's it they don't mix never between them meaning between the sweet water and the salt water barrier mean a partition which is a dry land do you see it yeah okay in the Muslim videos and uh, the claim what they say they say this is about the two meat two two is two water they meet together but they don't mix correct it isn't uh, uh, this barzakh mean land barzakh mean land yes but the Muslim they lie why, why they lie I, I want to ask you my friend why they lie and they say this is a miracle the Quran is speaking about salty water and 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 they show you a video of a river in the ocean and see a, 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 a masha Allah the Quran miracle speak about the same thing I mean this is have nothing to do with this all what the Quran is saying stupid thing that the salty water and the fresh water they never mix because Allah he put a barrier between it but, but this is a mistake because you know and I know that the, the, the fresh water we have is coming from the ocean the ocean water the ocean water vibrate because of the heat became a cloud the cloud moved to the top of the land we have rain and then we have a fresh water correct yeah but the Quran saying the opposite the Quran says those two water never mix there's partition between them and what is the partition a land yeah but doesn't uh, this Bazakh also mean something else Barzakh is a piece of land, my friend, which is separating between two two places, two things. This is what so Barzakh. Mean, so not only that, my friend. Not only that. It says, you see, it says, وحجر, وحجران, Do you know what Hajar mean? Hajar mean a rock. Okay, Hajar is a rock. Hajaran is is a rocky, uh, uh, you know, pr uh, a preventer barrier. So this is why it says, and complete partition, complete partition. Which means they will never ever mix they are forbidden from mixing so in chapter 23 verse 100 it's talking about a piece of land yes and not only that look what he continues saying he is even uh, quoting for you uh, he's quoting for you from different verses in the quran he says he has let loose the two seas meeting to um, meeting together between them is a barrier which none can transgress do you see yeah, it but, yeah yeah but uh uh, Surah, uh, Surah 23 verse 100 is actually it still mentions uh, but it's actually not mentioning uh, mentioning the land what what uh, what what the chapter uh, 23 verse 100 the verse 100 maybe, verse 100 yeah. okay let's go to yeah. verse 100 hold on maybe <coughs> doesn't always have what, to I don't know what verse land. 100 is let me see are you sure the verse 100 verse 100 
Verse 100. There's no 100. I'm talking about 23, not 25. Oh, okay, 23. All right. Yeah. Right, okay. This is, we go here. We read from verse number 99 to 100. All right. Okay. Maybe this shows. Uh, yeah, but this is uh, okay. Yeah, we see uh, uh, behind him. You see, here we go. Is a barrier between the world and hereafter. Barrier between the world and hereafter. And Barzakh simply it, is uh, a piece of land. This is the, uh, here we go. It's in front of you. It's a barrier. Still so, is the same. So it says that uh, uh, there is a piece of land between them until they are resurrected. Yeah. But no, it's, it says here that he did not give more details because already he explained what, what Barzakh is, you know. But we can go to the dictionary. But he is saying still there's a barrier. And this is different. This is a different chapter. You know, the Muslim scholar who said that the word Barzakh mean a piece of land about the verse we are debating about, for sure he knew what he's talking about, right? He will not say it's a piece of land if it's not, right? Yeah. We can go right now to the dictionary and we can type the word Barzakh. Let us do it right now. You know, here we go. The word Barzakh. Let us go English, uh, Arabic. Barzakh. All right. Look what it says. I don't know if you can see with me what I see. Yeah, I okay. uh, okay. think as well. Let us see Barzakh. Oh, it, it does not actually it did not type the whole word. Let me do it again. Barzakh. It says. Uh, no, it's not. It's is, not yet. It's, it's not. It's not there. It's not there yet. Okay. All right. Barzakh. Here they will show you the one is appear in the Quran. Let us see where it says the one in the Quran. Here we go. Here it says Barzakh, barrier. All right, barrier. But it doesn't yeah. show. Let us go to the Arabic one, Arabic, Arabic. Arabic, Arabic will be better. Let us do that. Where is, where, where is the search engine? There is no search engine here. Let us do that. Uh, Barzakh. It is dictionary. Uh, let us type the word man. All right. Let us switch here. Look like we are having difficulty. Let us switch to Arabic. 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 Arabic, here we go. That's better. Barzakh. All right. Here they are saying to you, Barzakh, it can be a barrier between two things, and it is a barrier between the here today and the hereafter, which is yeah. uh, from the time of death. And then he's continue saying, Barzakh or Barazakh. Is it is a, it a, a partition of land between two seas, which is connection between the two land. All right, this is what Barzakh. And then Hajiz Bainu Shayain. And he say, he quote here for us Marjul Bahrain Layal Taqiyan, Bainahu Barzakh Layal Quyan. Quote exactly the verse for us from Quran, and he says, Qita'atu Ardin, Mahsura Baina Bahrain, a piece of land which is between two seas. And connect the two seas together, or uh, sorry, connect between two two lands. And the, the last meaning that Barzakh is between the, the hereafter, the the the, the 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 land of the life of today and the hereafter. That's it. This is the Arabic translation, as you see. I can send you a link. You want a link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me send you a link. Here we go. You can check it out by yourself later. So you see, we're not making things up. So as you see, Ibn yeah. we can go to, uh, forget about Ibn Kathir, let's go to a different one if you want. You know, we yeah, can yeah. go, we can go, uh, uh, we can go, and instead of uh, going to one interpretation, maybe this guy is wrong and you never know, right? Okay, let's go yeah, and see. Chapter, chapter wrong. hold on, chapter 25, verse number 53. Let's give it all the options, all right? Let us, uh, let us see. Chapter 25, verse number 53, interpretation. My question is this does the word barzakh only mean land or can it yes, also land, mean yeah barzakh yeah. barzakh mean land barzakh mean land 
Yeah. Only that. Yes, absolutely. I showed you the dictionary. I'm not making things up, my friend. All right. It's a it's a land who connected between two. Let us say, usually, usually it's like uh, if you have. Let me draw for you something in front of you. If we have here, I'm not good in drawing, but just to show you, let us say from this side. Let me change the color. I will make it a blue. So we have here a C, yeah. and here we have a C. But between them, we have a land. And I want to make the land in brown. This place here, we call it Barzakh. So there is two lands here, big lands. All right? Yeah. And there is a land from this direction. Yeah. This area here, we call it Barzakh. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. And obviously, this is a this is a false explanation from the Quran. So the Quran trying to, uh, to uh, tell, tell us how Allah He preserved between the fresh water and the salty water. How He made a barrier between them. But this is absolutely false. The fresh water itself is the same as the salty water, and the salty water itself is the same as the fresh water. The only difference is that the salty water, by the heat of the sun, vibrate, became a steam, then became a cloud. And then the cloud move and then the cloud drop water let me show you another mistake in the Quran as long as we are talking about cloud and rain etc where Allah he got his hail from do you know my friend you know what hail, right yeah okay what is hail? what is hail according to your understanding is rain uh, is it a frozen it's a frozen water right it's an ice yeah. we call it hail. Yeah. all right uh, how Allah he how Allah he sent hail? do you know um, I read a verse in the Quran. Uh, Muslim says this is about the uh, water cycle. Mm -hmm. But look, look what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying the opposite. They lie to you, my friend. They, they are professional liars. It says here that Allah He sent hail from mountains, which is in heaven. So what the what the yeah. Quran is saying that Allah He break pieces of hail from an ice or mountain of ice, and He submitted on us. The verse in the front of you we can go to any interpretation you want which one you like um yeah you can uh, just pick. how in the world god he will say such a thing that in the in the heaven yeah. there's mountain of hail and this is where allah he got the hail from is that scientifically true um is it uh that allah calls the mountains uh in the heaven just a metaphor no, no, he's here. He's not. That's not metaphor. All this is speaking about, and you, know, you see, the funny is that the Muslims, uh, uh, the the when we quote for them, this something they say that this, that, you know, maybe metaphorical. But if you read the verse with me, speaking about things that are not metaphorical, that how Allah He switched the day and the night, and then He created for you from every creature from from water. Some of them they walk uh, in their belly. And some of them they walk in two legs, and some of them they walk in four, which is absolutely false. Because there is many creatures who have many legs. Correct. So based on this verse, you see, this is cannot be metaphorical, right? He described even how many legs. So yeah, uh, uh, and 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 even the Muslim scholars they never understood it as a metaphorical, and even the Muslims today they try to make this as a miracle. They they uh, here they come they say. Look, Allah, He speak how the cloud gathered together and how they became liars and how they send rain. But a, a verse before we just showed that the, the Quran think that Allah He separate between the salty water and the fresh water. And here He's saying that Allah He sent down from mountains in heaven a, a, a hail, you know. And this is absolutely false. If we go right now and we check the interpretation, chapter 24, verse number 53, 43, 24. Here we go. Read with me carefully, my friend. And by the way, uh, uh, Ajal is a new scholar. <laughs> this is this is a guy who learns science now and etc. So you see, uh, they try to cover up the the the, the, the madness of the Quran. Uh, 
do you see how the rain is issuing from the middle of, of uh, a specific outlets in them? And then he sent down from the heaven out of mountains. Do you see it? Yeah, but men jibal in fiha extract their end from heaven. So there's mountains of hail in the heaven, and Allah He extract the hail from it. So the mountains of hell is a literal thing. It is, as you see, speaking about rain. Is rain is literal? Yes. Is hail is literal? Yes. Did he submitted yeah, did he submitted to us us yes you know and not only that he hit with it whoever he wished he hit with it he hit with it so the Quran saying that Allah he punished us by hail let's go to uh, tafsir ibn Abbas you're, you're a prophet cousin okay have you not seen the uh, uh, been informed on Muhammad the Quran about how Allah uh, uh, drive about the cloud and being uh, bring the cloud together and make them liar liars and those set rain come forth from between them and from between the cloud he sent down from heaven uh, uh, from the heaven mountains where is hail he said send down hail from mountains in heaven yeah. and submit them with hail or a heap to who he want to punish you see it yeah okay not only that if we go to the quran chapter 13 verse number 13 do you know that the quran claimed that the thunder is an angel yeah but you know when allah says these things i just think by myself that only allah has the ability to understand that because my friend my allah friend so, let, let, let me tell you how funny what you just said Suddenly, only Allah can understand, but the Muslims, they are explaining the Quran for the last 14 centuries. For what then? If Allah only can understand. And yeah. it's, a, I mean, it's so clear. What the point of sending me a book nobody understands except him? There's no point. This is, with my respect to you, this will be stupid. Because if you yeah. send me a book, I will not understand anyway. So why you are telling me those things? Yeah, I agree. But in the Quran, it also says that Allah, that the sun sets in a muddy spring, but in the other verse it said that the sun is in orbit night and day long no but my friend no no my friend let me show you we will go there after we finish this one do you see here that the thunder is an angel yeah the thunder the thunder in islam is an angel who prays allah and also the angels you see uh the thunder uh, he prays uh, i can take this as a metaphorical but the muslims they don't as you see because the verse it says it says that aradu you uh you uh you wal malaika by his command it is an angel so what is the thunder it's an angel right yeah. now if we go you, you mentioned to me what about what about uh, remind me just a second ago about yeah about the sun setting and the spring but okay it, I, let, let me show you yeah, let, let right. me ask you who can understand the quran better than your prophet nobody right yeah okay if your prophet he explained it to us then we cannot say he he's wrong yeah. i think you but agree with it, me I'm okay and Read with me. Also says My friend, read with me. Here we go. This is Sahih chain hadith. Yeah. This is your prophet. This is Sahih. This is Sahih chain. Do you see it? Al Alabani. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we can say it's weak, daif, and those crazy stuff. I was sitting behind Allah Messenger who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked about, uh, uh, Do you know where this set, which means the sun? I replied, Allah and his, uh, his apostle they know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So the Quran said that Muhammad explained that. So what we will what we do now? Is that metaphorical? No. Uh, Muhammad also said that it sets under underneath Allah's throne. Yeah. But uh, really uh, okay. Hold on. This is another uh, this is another stupid thing because look what he said. Because Muhammad he claimed that the sun every day and he explained that this is not metaphorical. He asked the same guy the same story. He said to him, Do you know where the sun goes? Do you know where the sun goes? Hmm? Let us see the hadith. And even he quoted the verse for him from the Quran. So we cannot say he was not quoting the verse. So here we go. This is Sahih al Bukhari, which is very accurate hadith. It says, Once I was with the Prophet of Allah. Do you see the screen, my friend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Once I was with the Prophet of Allah and uh, in the mosque. 
at the time of the sunset and I uh, he said to me uh, oh Abu Dhar which mean your prophet saying to this guy do you know where the Sun where do you know where the Sun set where the Sun said do you see it says where yeah okay when I say where it's mean a location correct yeah okay now where the Sun set so he is talking about the sunset a physical thing not metaphorical I replied Allah and his apostle knows best he said it goes who is the one is going Allah uh, uh, the Sun sorry and prostrate underneath Allah throne so Muhammad explaining at the time of the sunset where the Sun is going correct yeah so this is physically explanation for a physical movement He's trying to explain to us where the sun is going, why the sun is going. The sun it goes every day to prostrate under the throne of Allah. And then he says, and that is Allah's statement. He's explaining now to Quran for us. So no, no way a Muslim he can say Muhammad was not right. He quote for us from the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38 says, and the sun runs on its fixed course for a term and a degree. So Muhammad is saying the Quran when he speak about this verse, explaining to us how the sun run in the orbit you mentioned to me this is the orbit every day the sun goes from the east and go all the way at the end of the day under the throne of allah sleep under the throne of allah in the murky water isn't it the quran says isn't it the hadith says that uh, uh, the throne of allah is above the water um yes let us let us find the hadith here we go allah throne is above the water you see it yeah. and that explain what Muhammad is talking about so Allah throne is above the water the Sun goes all the way prostrate itself and the throne of Allah which were above the water and what is that water is I know Hamia did you make it clear for you my friend yeah how this can be Quran? How this can be from God? Oh, in the Quran, it says that it stays in the orbit night and day long. Sorry. In the uh, in the Quran, it says that it stays in an orbit night and day long. What night day long? And, and it, but the sun is in its orbit. Every My friend, is it? Is it here? You go. Your prophet is just explaining where the sun goes. Come on, you know we don't want to play games. I'm saying there it says there there it says there it says clearly. And Muhammad is the one who quote the verse for you. Muhammad he quote for you what it's mean that the sun run in its course. So I cannot explain it better than your prophet, and you cannot explain it more than your prophet. So when he say the sun set in the murky water, that's mean it's a murky water. He explained and he quote for us chapter 36 it says and this is what it's meant that the Sun run in its or a course so the Sun every day move from point A to point B we have to be honest yeah, in the Quran it also says that the, uh, that the moon follows the Sun where, where in the Quran says the moon follows the Sun uh, let me let me show you let me show you what the Quran is saying I know what you are talking about this is this is a mistake you are you, you are forcing me to bring all the mistakes of the Quran I mean you are helping me big deal okay yeah but how isn't it really a mistake because like the moon doesn't follow the Sun in its orbit but it follows the Sun in its uh, no my, my friend my friend doesn't say that let me show you what the Quran yeah, is the Quran is the Quran says that the uh, Sun follows the moon then it would have been a mistake well, I don't know what you mean. Uh, the Quran says that the uh, moon follows the sun, right? The moon follows the sun. Yeah. Okay. Where it says the moon and follow the sun. Chapter thirty-one. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Okay. Chapter ninety-one. What verse? Uh, verse 2 verse 1 to verse 2 okay verse number 2 okay well Qamar is at Allah is not following it's the, the, when the moon came after it's not follow really it's coming well Qamar is at Allah follow here is about following by time not about uh, 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 you know following the Sun uh, let me let me you see it says one first the night then new moon to be seen 
now let me show you that this is what it's meant because if you go in the Quran my friend okay let us close some pages too many pages open that will slow our internet okay uh, chapter 31 verse number 29 chapter 35 verse number 13 uh, chapter 36 verse number 40 chapter 39 verse number 5 uh, uh, chapter 41 verse number 37 uh, chapter I mean all those chapters are a pure mistake and let us start one by one let us see let us go from the one speaking about the movement okay Where we are, we are. It's okay. Okay, here we go. Chapter 21, verse number 33. Read with me carefully, my friend. It is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. They float each in an orbit. Do you know what each goes for when he say each? Each one. Uh, they both each what like they like, each means sun and the other one means uh, no moon. each is goes for all you see in Arabic it says Kullun fi the, the 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 old legions believe that those are uh, the stars they have a uh, ship this is why you saw if you go to the zodiac you will see that uh, uh, they have a ship you know I don't know if you saw it before they believe that those stars they float in a ship so look what it says that all of them they float they swim actually yes which means they swim in uh, 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 in in a, in a, the uh, falcon here is not really orbit as much as a ship but we will go with the Muslim translation just to make you happy so each they float each what each the day and the night it is he who created what the night and the day and the sun and the moon and then they which mean all of them float each in an orbit do you see it yeah okay so the day and the night they have an orbit is that true mm. it actually says in another version of one that Allah makes the night over wrap the day and the day overread the night mm -hmm. but but this so is okay we will go there just one by one let us finish this one okay so allah created the night and the day so what allah is speaking about that the night and the day is something physically created i can accept that he created the, the night the night as a metaphorical meaning because you know the night is not really created it's just darkness but we will let it go as metaphorical but created the day are we speaking about the day as something different from from what we have is it the same day he's talking about yes he's talking about the same day our day and our night okay yeah so now he's saying that the night and the day and the sun and the moon they each flow in the airport but this is false don't we have something is called the eclipse the Quran says in different verse that the moon and the sun they never met um, hmm? where does it say that chapter 30, oh, yeah. chapter yeah, 36 yeah. verse number 40 yeah okay it is not for the sun to overtake the moon nor doth the night overstrip the day they float each in an air orbit but this is false because simply the sun is always actually there it is just the earth going around itself. We are not overlapping the sun. The sun is there. It's just because we are the earth is is uh, is facing the other direction of the sun. Correct. Yeah. Same time when he say 
that the sun and the moon they never meet together they will never overstrip that is false because that's mean he don't understand the eclipse don't we have something it's called the eclipse yeah and then suddenly we have night overtaking the day yeah so this is a mistake too What do you think? Um, yeah, I don't uh, really know what to say. Though. Everything in the Quran is a joke, my friend. There's nothing there is truthful. This is a joke. This is not going to be true. What is holding the birds from falling down? Because Allah, he holds the bird from falling down. Now that can be said. You know, uh, as an example, why Allah created the sun or the stars? Do you know? Mm, no. Hmm. Chapter 67, verse number 5. According to Allah, the stars are made to shoot the devil in his ass. Read it with me. How this is can be true? The devil live in earth. There's no yeah, devil but... live in the sky. There's no devil live in the space. The devil live only in the earth, and the devil will try to escape out of the earth. And Allah, He showed him by a star. It's talking about the jinns, right? Yeah, yeah. But here, here he mentioned the word shayatin, not only the jinn, because there is good genie and there's a bad genie, correct? Yeah. Okay. Here, here in the verse, he mentioned shayatin. So he showed the shaytans according to Muhammad. Shaytan he tried to spy at Allah, correct? Okay, that's what the Quran says. So each time they try to steal information from Allah, Allah He showed them by a star. How you can shoot someone who live in earth by a star without destroying the earth? How big the star is? Um there's not all genies live on earth. No, all genie live in the earth. There's no genie don't live in different place, my friend. No. Can you show me the reference? Well, isn't it the Quran says uh, uh, that Allah he sent he said there was only he created you see the Quran is a stupid book so when the Quran says or, or chapter 2 verse number 36 or 238 uh, it says the same okay uh, or chapter 7 verse number 13 uh, chapter 7 verse 24 um, etc but let us see this one but Satan caused them uh, to be deflect therefore he uh, and expelled them from the happy state in which they were and we said fall down or this is fast translation you know, go down go down one of you will be an enemy for each other. Allah, He said to whom? To Shaitan, correct? Yeah. Okay. And the other verse says what? Shaitan, correct? Yeah. So what was sent to down? down it's, it's a punishment. There is no way Allah, He said to Shaitan, get out, and He's still there, correct? Um, yeah. Okay. So Shaitan is in earth. And He's speaking about Shaitan specifically, not about jinn. He said the Shaitan. And by the way, how Shaitan have children? How Shaitan um, became Shaitan? Is it the is it mentioning the actual uh, shaitans or just jinns? No, I say shayateen, my friend. Shayateen, rujuman le shayateen, rujuman le shayateen, not a jinn. There's no jinn. Rujuman le shayateen. Let me show you. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Read with me carefully, please. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not, but I think you can maybe make up the letter. Do you see a shayateen? If we change the translation, let us change the translation. This is uh, who? This is who? Uh, Big Tal. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. See what Yusuf Ali will say. Okay. All right. Here, Yusuf Ali translate as the evil one, but this is false. It says Shayatin. Let us go to. Uh, big tal. Let us try big tal. 
do you see for the devils but even the big tell he did not get it right because he should say the word shouting the word yeah. shouting is right in the front of our face yeah all right i'm sure if you don't speak arabic still you know how the shouting look like right as a word yeah. okay so allah he showed the shaitan by a, by a star that's false that's impossible muhammad is explaining Simply, they see they see the the meteor. You know what the meteor, right? Yeah. The the rocks which fell from the sky. So Muhammad, he think that those are what Allah shooting shaitan in their ass. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you uh, uh, repeat that again? The meteor. You know what the meteor? Um, the rocks falling from the sky from the space during night. We see them. They shine sometimes, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. So Muhammad, yeah. he think that those are stars, and Allah he shoot the shaitan with them. But this is nothing but a legion. This is this is a uh, fairy tale stories. Yeah, but um, have you ever heard of uh, gamma ray uh, bursts of the stars? I heard of what? Uh, gamma uh, gamma ray uh, bursts of the stars. I don't understand really. Um, uh, it's a uh, gamma, and then uh, ray, and then bursts of the stars wait i'll type it in for you in skype uh, no, i know i don't understand what you are saying at all maybe you can is, is it a verse you want me to read i don't understand what you are saying in english Perfect. sorry i'll uh, send it to you in skype yeah let me uh, let me get some water please give me a second <laughs> All right, my friend. Now, uh, uh, you know, let, let, us, let us make it simple, me and you. How many mistakes already I showed you, my friend, today? Do you agree I showed you mistakes or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how this can be the book of God? You know, it's um, difficult for me. You know, I am... Uh, um, uh, my parents were atheists, but I was... Uh, I converted to Islam, mm. but I was uh, uh, I was searching for the truth. Mm. But I had a uh, difficulty picking for Islam or Christianity, so I started uh, uh, look for miracles or science or math. So, you know. but all of this is a lie. It's just a fabrication to fool you, my friend. You are smarter than this, and we prove it. Not a single claim come to be true. They are desperate. They are trying to make uh, miracles. They try to say like, okay, here we go. The word uh, earth and the word sea and the word etc. They are equal number. And then we check them. We find that they are false. They they try to fabricate. When the Quran, you see, and, and the funny, the, the Muslims, they discover miracles. Muhammad do not know. And Allah do not know. You know, like as an example, uh, Allah, uh, uh, He created. Um, I mean, there is obvious mistakes, huge mistakes in the Quran. I, do you think God will remember which one He created first? As an example, if I say to you, I created the stars first, and then in different verse, I say to you, I created the trees first. Isn't it? This is yeah. obvious. This is cannot be from God. 
yeah, yeah. Well, this is the Quran saying that one verse saying that he created everything in earth and then he went to the sky and the sky was nothing and the other verse saying the opposite if we go yeah. here as an example in chapter 41 verse number uh, uh, 11 if you read it from verse number 9 Allah says say O Muhammad into the idolaters uh, disbelieve ye verily in him who created the earth in two days and scribe into the revise and he uh, I mean this translation is really funny he too, put too much between bracket okay and then after he finished creating the earth in two days he placed in there in firm hills by the way it doesn't say that uh, he's speaking about the mountain above above it now, is it true that based in science that uh, that uh, mountains was placed later in the top of the earth? Somebody placed it? Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but Allah is actually saying here that when the earth was shaking, that he already placed some mountains. He, he, you could take this as... My uh, friend, let me, tell you, let me tell you information you do not know. Places where we have mountains is the places where earth shake most. Because simply... What the mountains have, what, what the reason for the mountain to exist, that there is a pressure between two tectonic plate or a volcano, correct? Yeah. But what the verse is saying that Allah He put the mountain in the top of the earth. If we go to the different verse in the Quran, we will find, find the following. Muhammad he said that Allah He put the mountain as nails, outada, the way the same nails you use for uh, for the tent. Right, well, Jibalu Autada chapter 78, verse 7. Do you see it? Yeah, okay, but this is wrong because Autada is something you put from the top down, not from down up. Yeah, all right, but the mountains is the opposite, the mountains come from down to up, correct? Yeah, this is why uh, a scientist when they want to study the ground. And instead of digging an area, just go to the mountain, because the mountain simply one day it used to be down deep down. And the top of the mountain, you know, is 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 is, is simply the increase of the size of the mountain uh, every every day, every every year, maybe a few centimeters or millimeters, you know, depend in the movement of the earth. So this is not where the earth is not moving; it's where the earth is moving. The mountain is, and this is not because. The mountains is is uh, stabilizing. You know it can it can work as a stabilizer, by the way. But this is not what the what the what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying I put it there as 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 big, pigs, because the Quran speaking about the earth as a flat. If we go in the Quran, I don't know. Did you hear about the Muslim saying that the Quran is in the shape of an egg? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's actually not true. This absolutely false. Ask yourself why they fabricate that. The word the haha, yeah. the word the haha, it means the opposite. It means he made yeah. the earth flat. So uh, look and here ask yourself, your friend, you, you are a person who accepted Islam to be your religion. I ask yourself, if Muslims are people who they are believing in a true religion, why they lie in translation, why they try they lie in interpretation, why they lie in, and they make fabrication about their book? Why? I mean, this is my book. I believe in it. This is how it is. You believe it. You don't believe it. You know what I mean? Like for me as a Christian, if you say to me, how Jesus can be born of virgin? I say, this is what I believe. Yeah. It doesn't make sense, right? Logically, in science, doesn't make sense. There's no there's no way a woman, she will give birth to a, 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 a person if she don't have a man, right? Yeah. I'm not going to fabricate and make stories up and etc. to say, okay, it's against science. So the problem with, with Islam and Muslims because they are ashamed of their religion they are willing to do tons of fabrication to cover lies and they have no shame with that for me as a Christian this is what my belief this is what it says you believe it you believe it you don't believe it it's up to you yeah. <clears throat> then why here like look look at the translation here well or do bad the haha the haha mean make it make it flat yeah yeah I know that. but why why they make it egg Go and see how many videos in YouTube they say the ha ha mean an egg. Yeah. So here we need to ask ourselves if those people are following God, what make those who follow God lie about their God? Uh, but, uh, in the Quran, it says that 
Allah has made the earth for you like a bed spread out. Right. That is that uh, it gets Allah has spread the earth for us. It's meaning that it's uh, comfortable for us to walk on. No, my friend. Like, no, this is can be true if it's only just something metaphorical. But the fact, the Quran, don't uh, don't the Muslims are uh, uh, ordered to pray in the direction of the Kaaba? Yeah. Okay. In order to do that, you have to always, like you see, if Muhammad saying pray in the direction of the Kaaba, if you are around the city of Mecca, I will understand. But but, but but we showed you where Omar he said, my Lord agree with me. Right. And to make the direction of the prayer and to the Qibla, and that is the order of Muhammad for all mankind. So how I can pray? To the Kaaba direction, unless I believe that the Earth is flat, it's impossible. I live in America. In order to pray to the Kaaba direction, I have to put my head maybe in the toilet seat, and still I will not face it. Yeah. That is impossible. Same time, Muhammad he explained once. He said that our our Lord Allah He come every night in the third part of the night. Yeah. How Allah will come every night? In the third part of the night unless he believe that all the earth have one time have one day have one moon have one Sun um, sorry I don't understand okay if I say to you that God come every day at three o'clock in the morning yeah. that's mean there's only one three o'clock in the morning right because it's impossible how how Allah will come every three and aim in the morning he goes to, to heaven number seven heaven number one look what he says this is Sahih Muslim and this is Sahih Hadith and this is Sahih Bukhari this is a very strong Hadith they cannot say it's a lie Allah messenger said that our Lord the blessed superior comes every night down okay down where unless the earth is flat but um, it means that uh, there is seven heavens so uh, for example Allah created uh, seven multiverses uh, multi uh, universes and mm -hmm. he goes uh, down to the lowest heaven my friend no problem let me let me let me, uh, let me explain to you Re uh, look with me please I will make a ball for the earth a shape of a ball all right okay this is the earth so yeah. when I say Allah, He come always, He come down. That's mean Allah always is up, correct? Yeah. Okay. Up where if the Earth is not flat? That's impossible. Um, I don't really understand. Okay. If I say Allah will come down, down from where? From this direction? From this direction? Or from this direction? Or from this direction? Where is down? You will go from the top to the low seven. Okay, that's but that but that's mean there is only one direction. There is Earth and above the Earth. That's mean the Earth is flat because we are using the word down, down from where. And he mentioned the third part of the night, but you know the Earth have many third part of the night. That's mean Allah will keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, and stop twenty four hours a day. That will be funny. Same time, what kind of God he need to go down every third part of the night to collect the prayer? Can't he collect it from his seven heaven? Why he don't have a good reception? He is using AT and T phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And why he why he why he why he go down to say who is praying for me? Who is invoking me? So I forgive him. This is silly. Yeah. I thought God he hear everything now he should have to come down to the to the first heaven and the second you say first heaven my friend that you you, you just you just de decide as long you are not saying this is metaphorical and even Muhammad he described in different hadith the distance between them 500 years yeah okay that's it so it's it's one direction it can be in not cannot be in another direction right because if I say to you the distance between them 500 years it's mean I have to go in one direction How this can be a prophet of God? And why the Muslim they pray five times a day if Allah only will collect the prayer only at that time and now he is asking who is asking me?
What about the rest of the day? They were praying. Let me ask you a question, a very simple question. Yeah. If a baby became a boy, let us yeah. say somebody, your wife, with my respect to her, she gave birth to a boy. What is the reason for the baby to be a boy, according to Islam? The gender. Mm, I don't know. Muhammad, you know, Muhammad is a scientist. Look what your prophet, he said. Muhammad, he said, narrated by Anas, Anas saying, Allah Messenger said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. And whoever, whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Yeah, that, uh, that actually means that, if, for example, if the father uh, discharges first, yeah, and uh, but the woman, but the baby will become a girl. Then the girl will look like the father, but not the mother. No, 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 my friend, no, no. It, what it says here that if the father he discharged first, the baby will be a boy because you cannot resemble the parent, the father, and you are a girl. That's what it's meant here, and I can show a different hadith by the way to explain it. But however, right. this is stupid because it doesn't matter who comes first about the look. Scientific, this is stupid. If to I me, it actually to me it doesn't it doesn't actually say that it's it will become a boy it just said it it just says that it will look like the father no my friend uh, okay no, but no problem let us say it looked like the father there, is it really doesn't matter if it looked the father or the matter by who come first is that really what science says um, that's stupid the DNA the DNA is what will decide how you look like do you agree yeah, and the DA will not change who come first who come actually the women most of Muslim women they don't even come because Muslim women they do circumcision for them and if you cut the, the women the clitoris then the women she cannot have orgasm so what does this have to do with this and Muhammad he described for you here what make the baby look like the father or the, or the mother he said the man the man water is thick and white which this is a sperm and the man, women water is a thin and yellow and this is what Muhammad think it is a sperm but this is a, this is a lotion the women she have in her vagina when she's having sex yeah this is not an orgasm uh, of sperm but let me show you that he meant a boy not meant only the look as you said as you thought yeah let us find your hadith Here we go. You will see here it says, this is in Arabic. ما الرجل أبيض وما المرأة أصفر فإذا اجتمع فعل مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر بإذن الله أذكر بكم ميل وإذا على مني الرجل مني المرأة مني المرأة مرأة مني الرجل أنثى بإذن الله. What does that mean? If the man orgasm came first the baby will be a boy if the women orgasm first the baby will be a girl by the will of Allah and here the Muslim they try to fabricate in the translation and look what they do yeah but um, in the hadith it also says that uh, Allah will decide it will become a male or female. no problem but this is a contradiction no problem this is still contradiction because now he just said that it's Allah who decide one but now he's saying the other reason that the one who come first that prove Muhammad is a liar read with me carefully does it see the word, word here? The male is going to be child. Sorry, the the, the 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 child will be a male. Does it say that? And here it says yeah. it's going to be a female. And look what the Muslim, in order to cover up the, the stupidity of their prophet, they add the word the chromosome. Suddenly, this is about the chromosome. The chromosome is the white sperm and the yellow water in the vagina of the women. <laughs> and whoever comes first. So look what they add. They add the chromosome and genes, reveals and chromosome and genes, or just all just to cover the madness. Muhammad saying, "Whoever come first, we showed you the hadith, right? Whoever come first, the baby will be resemble the parent. How? He will explain again. He will be male or female. Male or female? Yeah, it says here in front of you. It says 
prevent pre, uh, pre, uh, 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 okay when they have intercourse and the male sperm water substance reveal upon the female substance which mean came before it it is a male child and that is the creator of Allah and if the women come first you remember the hadith we showed you whichever of them come first yeah okay here in the translation trying to hide it so they are saying uh, 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 when the substance of the female prevails so when the substance of the female prevails upon the substance contributed by the male a female child is formed do you see it so this is absolutely about male and female there's no doubt so when Muhammad he said in the other hadith that whoever come first the baby will resemble the parents now there is no way to say to me as you said to me five minutes ago here he's speaking about that a child baby girl she might look like her father correct because he obviously explained it he meant he meant you look like father which means you are a boy yeah how this can be a prophet of God <sighs> my friend you are smarter than this yeah I I myself don't really see as a true Muslim but I I am confused in religion I don't know what my friend let us let us make it step by step as long you are confessed uh, convinced convinced that Islam is a false religion what about you say I am out of this cup and then you can start searching for something better right this, this cannot be from God this is stupid and you are smarter yeah. than this so say it say I'm leaving Islam I'm out uh, can you show me the uh, the last topic I want to talk about? It's last about, topic, uh, Surah twenty one, verse uh, thirty two, where it says Allah has made a ceiling for us. Yeah, uh, that that's is even more funny. Chapter yeah. twenty one, verse uh, thirty two. Okay, actually, this is a comedy. Because here you just give me another proof. This is the nail. We will be good, put it in the coffin of Allah. Because simply, the Muslim they say to you, this is about the atmosphere, correct? Yeah. Okay. But do you remember the verse I gave you where the verse says that Allah He shoot the shaitan when they try to escape by the stars? Yeah, yeah. But okay. Read with me carefully. Okay, hold on, my, my friend. Read with me. Does it say that? Read with me. It's the same verse you chose for me. And we have made the sky a roof for the earth, with healed from them, such as, such as, such such that it does not fall, and also say that this is mean it's protected from shaitan by the stars. You remember? Okay. Yeah. Now, if we forgot what I said to you before about Allah he shoot the shaitan by stars no, no, I didn't forget okay so uh, here Allah is saying we made the sky protected roof it is the sky protected why because Allah uh, he, he he challenged the human being the man and the genie to leave the zone of the earth let's see the verses All right. <clears throat> um, here we go. Chapter 55, verse number 33. O assembly of jinn and men, it, it ye uh, can be, uh, 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 if it be, Ye can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, pass ye not without authority shall you be able to pass. So the Quran challenging the human being and the genie to go out of the zone of the earth. Why? Because in verse number 35 saying, if you try to do so, what Allah will do? Read with me carefully. Do you see it, my friend? Yeah, yeah. If you try to do so, on you we will send all oh, evil ones flame fire that is the stars you remember so the sky is a protected roof not protecting the earth 
is protecting the sky because you cannot get out you know what I mean yeah, that, the atmosphere is no. the opposite if a rock go in the, the rock will be burned correct yeah here is the opposite if you try to get out Allah will burn you and which verse we are reading That's chapter right. chapter 55 verse number 34 and 35 and 30 30 uh, 33 you see it and that's actually a clear, a clear, stupid thing, because a human being already they went to the to the moon, correct? Yeah. And they went to the space, and now we have many satellites flying over the space, the satellite, internet, you name it. So this is a claim Muhammad he made, and he he never thought that one day time will come and people will go out of the space. And Allah here is making a challenge for genie and mankind. Go out if you can. If you go, I will shoot you. Yeah, but in another uh, surah, it's saying that. Allah is in Surah 2, verse 22. It says that Allah has uh, placed uh, mountains for us hmm. to so to protect us from uh, that, uh, that it uh, wouldn't shake with us. Hmm. And He says that the uh, heaven is a ceiling for us. Hmm. Well, this is a ceiling. You, know, you see, the the yeah, Quran. Says, let me show you, my friend. The Quran says "saqfan marfu'a," "saqman marfu'a," which means the Quran claim that the sky and the earth they used to be one piece and Allah he left up the sky is that a true do you agree with that right. or this is something stupid the Quran teach that the sky and the earth they used to be together and Allah he split them out he left up the sky Saqfan marfu'a. the word Saqf you are talking about he made it a roof but he put it up the roof is not you know it was down Saqfan marfu'a. he he lifted up. Is that correct? No. Uh, which verse is it saying? Okay. Chapter 52, verse number 5. So Allah, he raised it up. How he raised it up? Do you know the chapter of Qaf? Yeah. What is it? Chapter of Qaf, verse number 1. Do you know what chapter of Qaf saying? Verse number 1. There's a mountain, it's called Qaf. I want you to read with me carefully, my friend. I'm here trying to help you. I'm not here trying to make fun of you. And as you see, everything I say is coming with proofs. And from his narration, Qaf, Qaf, in the narration of Ibn Abbas, he said, Qaf, he said, it is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the sky takes from it. So the Saqf al marfuwa the lift up sky, is a roof, and there's a wall, and that wall is Qaf. It's a mountain called Qaf. Do you see it? Yeah. So how that can be? This is crazy. This is stupid. So what the Quran teaches us that you cannot get out of the zone of Earth. We get out of the zone of Earth. If you try to get out, we will shoot you with the stars, and this is not true. And it's a challenge to mankind and human being and genie. And that is stupid too. And in the top of that, Allah He left up the sky and He hold it from falling down on us by a mountain is called Qaf, and the sky is taking the color, its color from it. The Quran says too <clears throat> that Allah is holding the sky from filling on us. Yeah. Okay, but this is not true. Because we are inside the sky. The earth is little tiny dust inside the sky. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay. How this can be? <laughs> we are not separated from the space. We are just inside the space. We are nothing inside the space. How we can be separated? We are not. We are just a little tiny dust in the space. In chapter... 22 verse number 65 the same chapter you chose for me it says it is he who said uh, said uh, isn't it he that Allah who made for you the the uh, the earth and 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 the uh, and the ships and this you sail with it in the sea by his command isn't it yeah. he who hold the sky from failing on you and look here they they, they put the word rain it's his fault it doesn't say rain 
is Allah is holding the rain from falling down it's stupid this doesn't say that it says the sky Allah is holding the sky from falling in the earth because the rain come down they lie in the translation mm. so my friend I will leave the choice for you but if I am you you know I mean I'm, I'm sure you respect yourself and you are smarter than this it will not accept to be part of such a garbage uh, I um, I only converted to Islam because uh, I just picked a religion for some reason but all I'm trying to do right now is I'm searching for the truth on which religion is right no problem but uh, aren't you, you convinced already that Islam it cannot be from God aren't you convinced after all of what he said yeah okay so say I'm out of Islam and search keep searching no problem I'm not saying to you don't search but you know I'm just saying uh, denounce this cult say I am out of this yeah can I just show you an example no problem but what about you denounce first my friend let me hear it from you I want to be sure that I did not waste my time with you yeah yeah so you are out of Islam my friend right yes I'm out that's good that's I'm happy for you that you decide to get out and now we can search for something better what what do you want to say to me um I just wanted to show you this last picture okay what is that it's uh, collected from a Muslim guy who discovered this tell me what is the topic so we can get it busted without showing the pictures no problem what is the topic yeah I'll show it to you Okay, what is that? Uh, you know, for me, it doesn't even open. It's open so small, I can't even see it. What is that, my friend? What is this? Um, it basically shows you uh, that if you count, for example, uh, Surah Ran has uh, seven verses. When you count one to seven, it's eight. That's in. My friend, the uh, one who come with this madness, his, uh, 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 the Muslim themselves, they get him killed because he have to delete some verses in the Quran. Same time, all the count is false. As an example, chapter 19, uh, miracle of number 19. This is where it's coming from, correct? Uh, no, no. Yeah, it's the same. They are coming from the same study of this guy. He have to delete some verses. Same time, all the numbers are wrong. Let me show you how the Muslim, they lie in their calculation. No, but this isn't a uh, this visit. This is not connected to the number nineteen. Uh, the uh, all of the them, surah. all of them, my friend. Trust me, all of them. They are based on number nineteen. All of them. All what they coming for is coming from what this guy, the one, the Muslims, they killed him. No, but this is not about the. the okay, tell, tell me. Okay, what is this? I know what I know what it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. What it is? Um, it is uh, for example one to uh, plus eight. In uh, on of Surah One is an mm. uh, 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 even number, and when you count all the even numbers when, mm. from from one to a hundred and fourteen mm. uh, together, you get uh, fifty-seven. My friend, and let me let me. I, I will not waste my time with this. Let me ask you: Who is better in counting numbers, Allah or Muslims? What do you mean by that? Okay, isn't it the Quran says in many places that Allah He created the earth and the heaven in six days? Yeah. Okay. Let us say the Muslims are trying their best and they are genius. But the Quran says that Allah He created the earth and the heaven in six days. Yeah. There's no way Allah will make such a mistake and He will make it more days or less days, correct? Yeah. Okay. Let us see what the Quran says. And the Muslims always try to cover up the stupidity. Uh, in the Quran, Muhammad he said, not me, that Allah He created the earth as the following. Let us see. Okay. Read with me, please, carefully. Yeah. Uh, 
say is that ye deny him who created the earth in two days correct yeah okay then he set on the earth mountains standing firm high above it and he bestowed blessing on the earth and the measure of all things in four days does it say four days yeah okay what is the total until now two days here uh, four days here correct yeah yeah okay if we go down we will find Allah he count that he created the Sun in two days the total is eight so the earth in two days the substance in four days and the the, the sky and everything in it in in two days the you total is what it. the total is what it's eight, eight. Right, let me show you another mistake. Look like the Muslims are smarter than a prophet. Muhammad he tried to explain how Allah he created the earth. But let us show first what the Quran says. It is He Allah who created the earth and the heaven in six days. Let us confirm that. But does it say that? Yeah, that's it. There's no there's no confusion. Muhammad looked like the Muslims are smarter than him. And they can do better math fabricating stuff. It says, let us see what Muhammad said. And this is Sahih Muslim, this is Sahih Hadith. Here we go, let me show the reference Sahih Muslim 2789. Allah the Exalted, the Glorious, created the clay on Saturday. Count with me, please. What is number one? Saturday, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me change the color and make it less thick. Actually, let us type here. Let us type. Okay, so Saturday is number one. Yeah. All right. This is he created what? He created uh, 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 the clay. And then he created the mountain in Sunday. This is number two. And then he created the trees in Monday. This is number three. Do we agree? Yes. Okay. And then he created the, uh, everything entirely in labor on Tuesday. This is number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday. This is number five. And then he caused the animals to spread in uh, uh, th Thursday. This is number six. And then he created Adam after noon and Friday. This is number seven. So how the Muslims, they calculate those numbers and their prophet even cannot calculate. And he is inspired by Allah, speaking about Allah. He can't even calculate how many days he just counted. Those are seven. But the Quran says six. Yeah. So isn't it obvious that this is always a scam trying to fool you? Yeah. And I can play my friend with mathematics. I can play all kind of games. I put this. Who is the one who decide if we put half of this and half of that and etc. It's a, it's us. We can play all of the game. Anyone who have a good knowledge of mathematics, he can come with all the conclusion you want. Yeah, but in Muhammad's time, they didn't even use the. Uh, they didn't even say surah. Example Surah two verse number thirty or something like that. Right. You no, know, it it's Muhammad in Muhammad's time the uh, the Quran was uh, was uh, written in animal skins, bones, stones. No, my friend. And, no, no. This is not true. This is big fat lie. There is no Quran written in time of Muhammad, and there is no Quran after Muhammad. The Muslim they have recitation. This is why if you open the Quran, it says that this is a Quran according to Al Mazum, which means the claimed of Uthman. No, nobody have even the Quran of Uthman. The Quran of Muhammad is definitely never exist. More Muslim have it. Then Uthman he came. Uthman he burned all the Qurans, and you remember the Muslim saying that, correct? And then Uthman he made his own Quran. But do the Muslim today have the Quran of Uthman? No, they don't. That's why if you open the book, it says that this Quran is according to recitation, not writing. 
yeah, but that make that makes it even more difficult to recite and get this kind of uh, mathematics no my friend there's no mathematics this is always a fabrication this is always a fabrication this is always a fabrication there's no mathematics there you see I showed you uh, isn't, isn't it all what we showed about spoke about is mathematics anyway um, when we when we say my friend when we say let me search I will try to find this in the in the in the in Google uh, uh, hold on let me see if I can find it in Google uh, search Google Okay. Um, I don't know which one. Okay. Maybe this one. Let us see. Which one is this one? Okay. How, I can, I can, how I can even read it? I mean, it's so small. Yeah. I can't even read it. But anyway, my friend, this is all is garbage, and, and the same as get them busted and everything. And I do not need even all this mathematics. If Allah He made mistakes in other verses, if Allah Himself make mistakes, what? Who care about the rest? Do I need yeah, to prove that, anything? That is actually the problem. Some religions actually got real kind of things that uh, really is surprising, but at the same time, no, my friend, this is not surprising. This is all as a fiction. This is all is a lie. They they fabricate lies as the same as 19 the same as all the other things and and who is the one is going to really go and study all those things You know I can I can take a look at it and I will show you right away, but I'm trying even to find it I can't even open it You know where is that the, the thing to 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 see it what, what I got is very small very tiny I can't even read All right, you see, let me all, just, uh... all is is just uh, you know, and I don't want to open like they I saw there's a BDF file I don't want to download things from the internet you say here it says bdf file yeah mm -hmm. i'll get the link for you yeah you have to uh, uh when you get it at the uh, when you get at that facebook page you have to scroll down so you can let see the see, picture let us see if we click at images in google maybe we can get a better image yeah okay let us see here maybe this one let us go to original website yeah, this is seeing this is all is the same garbage it's the same facebook thing yeah we are not getting anything good yeah trust me my friend this is all is fiction you see all those who speak about those miracles i challenge them to go and count and go live on air and do the calculation in front of us and then you will see they calculate the words wrong because here when you say this is about calculating words, right? No, this is about uh, calculating verses and uh, sewer numbers. Okay, my friend, they are calculating the verses numbers and the chapter numbers based on what? The on Quran the, today the, or the, the original on, Quran? And the, the the Quran from today. It, okay, uh, but the, but look at this problem now. Even if this is what they are doing, isn't it the Muslim agreeing that the Quran was sent to Allah different from the Quran they have today? Don't don't tell me you never heard. You see, it's coming still small, my friend. You see, here we go. It's coming oh, very yeah. small. That's actually the Facebook page. Yeah, but it's very small. I can't read it. How I can read it? No. Oh. You see, it's how small. Look how small it is. Very small. I don't know why. I can't even see it. For me, I can't read it. Maybe, uh, maybe I can show you a screenshot. Uh, anyway, my friend, as long as they are calculating based on what the Quran they have today, but this is not what the Quran even Allah they, they gave them. The first verses Allah gave is what Iqra, right? Yeah. Okay, why you didn't do it by what Allah He sent? Uthman, because this is mean Uthman is God. If the calculation, if they claim it is to be true and it is right, and this is what it is, that's mean Uthman is God. Because the one who made the Quran is Uthman. As long as they agree that this is not how they receive the Quran, why they didn't do it according to what how they receive the Quran? Which one is more valuable? <laughs> you know what I mean? And what about we add the verses which is missing? Like when Aisha, she said that Allah, he, uh, uh, that the goat ate the Quran. Yeah, but the Muslims actually say that. Uh, they will uh, show this mathematics to say that the Quran is, has never uh, ever missed a verse. My friend, but this is, this is a false. I can show you tons of reference. 
I can show you from now until tomorrow reference of Muslim books about missing missing verses not only missing verses thousands of verses missing because more than 80% of the Quran is gone Omar Khattab alone he said that the Quran was a thousand thousand and twenty seven thousand letter yeah. that's mean more than a million and twenty seven thousand letter okay what is the Quran today to a three hundred thousand and you will show me the reference okay. sure no problem here we go okay Let us see. Don't be a victim of a scam, my friend. Anyway, you are out of Islam already, but let me show you. Yeah. All right. This is Sahir Bukhari. So they cannot say, I'm making things up. We showed you first. I should say in that the goat ate the Quran, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to second. This is Omar. It says, and this is Sahih Hadith. Let me show it to you yeah. from. Actually, this should be in Sahih Bukhari, but here it doesn't appear in Sahih Bukhari, but it is in Sahih Bukhari. It says, and by the way, anyway, this is Sahih. This is Sunan Ibn Dawood. Does it say Sahih? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look what it says. I swear by Allah, uh, had it not been so that people might say Omar made an additional to the book of Allah, I would have written it there. What he's talking about? The stoning to death verses. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, how do you, why, why you don't calculate that? If there is a verse, and uh, and Aisha, she confirmed that the goat ate it, Omar, he confirmed that he swear by Allah it is there and this verse is there and this is a sahih so we if we add this verse alone to the Quran all their calculation is gone correct let's add more yeah okay look at this here it's a sahih Bukhari they can't say it's weak, they can't say it's fake. All right. Here you will yeah. see that Sahir Bukhari confirmed that there is surahs, there is a change on them, they are not the same. So look what it says. I am among the people of Kufa. He said, Weren't the monks of you the carrier of the prophet shoes, siwak, and the abolition of water container? The Muslim they used to, to even collect his dirt to wash with it. To, to to supposedly to get the blessing of Allah weren't yeah. they among you a man who give gives Allah refuge from shaitan and were not there amongst you the men who used to give a prophet secrets which nobody also know how did Ibn uh, uh, um, Abd i.e. Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud Ibn Mas'ud Muhammad actually this is the Quran which uh, Uthman he burned right Ibn Mas'ud yeah. And by the way, Muhammad he says to take the Quran from four, and one of them is Mas'ud, but they did not take it, <laughs> which means they, they disobey their prophet order. And then, okay, you used to recite Surah Al Layl, the night. I recited by the night as it's involved, by the day as it appears in brightness, and yeah. by male and female, where we can find. That in the Quran, <clears throat> and yeah. that is Abu Durad said by Allah, the Prophet made me read the verse in this way after listening to him. He swear by Allah. Yeah. Okay. What well, the verse is not like this in the Quran. Yeah. In different place, <coughs> a Christian. Uh, He left Islam. He was a writer. Yeah. Uh, he was a writer of the Quran. 
for Muhammad. He's, he's, he's a scribe. He left Islam and he said, I swear that Muhammad, he do not know what I wrote for him except what I wrote for him, except what I wrote for him, which yeah. means the guy he is saying, I made a lot of Quran, I fabricated Quran, and Muhammad, you have no idea what I'm writing for him. Let me let me find you the reference so we can see together. Um, <clears throat> um, oh, I, uh... I, I sent it you the picture. Maybe you can see it now. Yeah, you know, my friend, I don't even need it. I mean, that's it. I mean, garbage is garbage. We're not making a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah there's, uh, there's tons of verses. Uh, and the Muslims are in big, big trouble. I can, like, I can keep going, showing you. Let us see. Um. Let me show you. Yeah, I uh, I believe. No, no, it's okay. I'm sharing. I'm just sharing knowledge with not only with you. I mean, people they are listening. Um, let us see what Omar. I'm trying to find the hadith of Omar, where he said the Quran is a thousand thousand letter. Okay. Um, Okay. There we go. Uh, And anything, anything the Muslim today will make make their book look funny and stupid. They say, uh, this is, we don't accept. But I showed you Sahir Bukhari, I showed you. And I can show you 10, ten more. This is the book of Fayd al-Qadir, Sharh al-Jami al saghir very number four. All right? Page number 356. You can see the screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Al-Quran, Al-Quran, ألف ألف حرف وسبعة وعشرون ألف حرف فمن قرأه صابرا محتسبا كان له بكل حرف زوجة من حر العين Translation Omar he said according to his prophet that the Quran is a thousand thousand and twenty seven thousand letter so the one who read it with patient and, and uh, uh, faithful Allah will give him for every letter a version to F her So Allah will yeah. give me a million and twenty-seven versions to sleep with. The equal number of the letters of the Quran. Ta'sa and Umar. And this is the reference in the front of us. And this is the page as it is in the book. Yeah, yeah. All right, my friend. Well, I'm happy for you that you decide to and leave Islam. Uh, you opened my eyes. I didn't uh, realize this much. Well, this is why I'm here, my friend, to share with you and whoever is seeking seeking knowledge. And you know, uh, uh, you know, you you have your brain and you are smart. I'm not going to think for you. You think for yourself. But I do my duty just to share with you my knowledge. And then you made a decision. And now you said you are going to search. If you have a questions about Christianity, there is a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. You can contact yeah. him. And he will be happy to explain to you. However, for me, I, I will be happy to invite you to accept my Lord and my Savior as, as your Savior. If you like to accept right now, it's up to you. If you want to think about it, it's up to you. But I want to remind you that we might go to sleep whenever we wake up. And I want to remind you, don't make people fool you by mathematics. Because if mathematics would make me believe in God, then the one who made satellite is God. 
the one who made the spaceship because this is mathematics this is a pure mathematics mathematics yeah. and physics if that guy can do that that's mean he must be God the one who wrote Shakespeare of language will make me believe that God is the one who wrote a book that's me Shakespeare is God yeah. right don't make them fool you the Quran is the most stupid book ever the language is wrong the grammar is wrong but because you don't speak Arabic and who dare anyway to speak against the Quran if I am now in the Middle East do you think I can say a word even in the time of Muhammad, people they were laughing at the Quran, saying to him, "This is a fabulous. This is, you know, the the, the, the funny the Muslim they say uh, <clears throat> that the Quran challenged the Arab at that time and told him, "Who can make Quran like this?" And nobody was able. This is what the Quran is saying. The Quran said the opposite that the Arab they said to him, "This is stupid and silly. If you want to write it the same, we can." Read with me. We are signed or uh, rehearsed to them. Chapter 8, verse number 31. They said, we have heard this before. If we wished, we could say a word like this. You see it? And they are to him, this is nothing but the tales of the ancient. This is a story. So they were making fun of the Quran. Nobody was amused. They were amused. But this is a silly, stupid book. Yeah, I uh, I accept Jesus. I do. Hallelujah, my friend. I'm really happy for you. And uh, I accept Jesus. Uh, I'm still gonna uh, research on uh, religion, but to me, Christianity makes more sense. My friend, it's not only about like, sense. Only listen carefully. Jesus is not only about making sense. Yeah. Jesus is about good and bad. Jesus is the good and totally pure good and God is good Jesus is a miracle in the same time and God is a miracle yeah. Jesus he is the name which you cannot regret to be with so it's not you know I'm not going to pray to, to prove Jesus for you by mathematics because that will be silly yeah. because all the mathematics and all the knowledge we have in this earth is nothing compared what God he did to me, um, when I came to Islam, I was actually disappointed because I first thought that this was actually the religion of truth. But first, I wanted Christianity to be the truth because uh, because Jesus, he he was someone uh, really loving, and Muhammad was kind of someone who was kind of harsh, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, my friend, I'm really happy for you that you accepted the Messiah. And yeah. I'm happy that I did not waste my time today with you. Uh, and I hope that people, they are listening. They learned a lot from what you said. We have a very nice uh, conversation. Maybe it's long and maybe I have a headache by now. But I'm happy that at least I was be able to help you to do, to do the right decision and to be out of this cult. And uh, uh, feel free to call me when you have anything you want to say. And I pray and I ask all the Christians to pray for our new brother who accepted the Messiah as his savior. And he denounced Islam for this is fiction, stupidity, tons of fabrication. And the Muslims, because they are so desperate, they try to find a miracle in a book itself says we refrain from sending miracles. Yeah. Do you... Uh know where i can uh, contact uh, the guy who's named uh, Sam? Uh, i will i will find his page in youtube and i will uh, guys can somebody send a uh, post the page of his uh, of uh, sam shamoon in the text in the chat they will post it for you if not i will post it to your to your skype myself all right you can go to his page he do live broadcast and you feel free and by the way you can call me too i mean but but he, for him this is what he do i mean this is like he love to do that my my specialty is to speak about Islam, you can search yeah. for this name. Let us do this. Um, let me see. I will search on YouTube right now as we speak. See if I can find his channel. And he have a Facebook too. Okay. Um, let us see. A uh, girl uh, already sent the link. All right, that's good. That's good, my friend. Thank you very much for being here, and uh, may the Lord bless you. And I pray for you and your family. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, Shent no, no, never mind. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thank you. All right, people, they are posting the link for you. 
and tell him that Christian Prince, tell him I left Islam in uh, in Christian Prince uh, YouTube, uh, uh, broadcast and I accepted Jesus, but I I, well, I want to ask you some questions if you have any. And I, I encourage you actually, I encourage you to ask questions. You see, we are not stupid like Muslims who just uh, like go by like, oh, we Allah, Allahumma, Allahumma. We don't do that. The best Christian of us is the one who study more and the one who search yeah. more and the one who believe for he's convinced, you know. So ask questions, don't be shy. Not you know, in the Quran, you know the Quran says ask no questions, right? Yeah, yeah. do you know that? In chapter five, verse yeah. one oh one, <laughs> ask no questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the, in, in Christianity it's the opposite. Jesus says, search the books, read the books, and find the truth, and the truth will will, will set you free. Yeah. So in Christianity, Even you are required to read more and to 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 ask. Do you know the uh, the guy uh, Facebook so I can uh, contact him? Uh, yeah, guys, can somebody uh, send me his Facebook to Sam Shamoon to my Skype so I can send it to him? Or I don't know if it can go through. Maybe the admin can post it in the yeah. in the chat. All right, my friend. If they do not send it to you there, I will I will send it to you in Skype. All right. All right. I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to leave now. All right. Thank you, my no, friend. And I'm happy for you that you accept the Messiah. And yeah. we pray together that the Lord will, will, will keep you in guidance and he will not make you will still keep you away from the confusion of the devil who yeah. try everything he can to make you believe in him. And trust me, in the top of that, the devil is powerful. Yeah. And I can make a book now have equal words in it. Yeah. And then somebody he can come and he can make it a miracle. Same time, uh you know, I don't know if you watch videos I made before. You will see how the Muslim they lie when they speak about equal numbers, because they decide yeah. what is equal, or what is words, what is uh, like you know, Norman Khan when he want, he he uh, he count the word lem as an example as a word. When he want, he count it as letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, false people. Anyway, thank you, my friend. So <clears throat> somebody send me the link for uh, for uh, Sam Shamoon. Yeah, I. I uh... I already got it. All right, that's good. That's wonderful. Take care, my friend. God bless you. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Hallelujah. Ah, I have a headache, to be honest with you, but it's worth it. Is it? How many hours? But it is worth it. Going from place to place, from curve to curve, from topic to topic. But thanks, thanks to the Lord, you know, our work did not go for nothing. Uh, I don't believe I am the one who made you believe, my friend. I believe the Lord, He invited you, and you received the invitation. But I want people to be aware that Jesus said that there is many even they will do even miracles. But Jesus will say to them, depart from me. I do not know you. Even they will do miracle in his name, not in the name of Muhammad. Still, Jesus will say, depart from me. I do not know you. They will say, Lord, we did miracles in your name. So deceivers which is shaitan, Satan, he changed his format. He changed the way he do things. What are you? Who are you? Are you a religious person? I will come to you from the door of religion. Are you a person who like gambling? I will come to you from the door of gambling. Are you a person who like women? I will come to you from the door of, of women. Are you a person who like men? I will. What do you like? I will be there. He come to you Change in his form. This is why they say, said they will come to you in a cloth of a cloth of sheep, but they are wolves. Be aware of false prophets. They change their forms. False prophet here is the devil himself. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. You want to know somebody? Know them from their fruits. I'm not going to study Muhammad so much. It's enough for me to study his fruits. Let us say Muhammad, he wrote a book which nobody can write like. But his fruit is ugly, how he can be from God. 
don't make them fool you the Lord he gave us the key of wisdom from their fruits don't tell me that you are speaking in the name of God but yet you are a child molester rapist gang leader thief caravan attacker that cannot be from God you see if you go today who is the one who live in a very nice houses drug dealers the poor me and you we struggle to pay our bills but the drug dealer he have a nice fancy cars not car he changed his car maybe by changing his shoes he have the biggest villas he have party every day so the outside is amazing but the inside is ugly And sadly, people, they go by the outside. So the Muslim try to make the grave of Muhammad look so beautiful, covered by marble. But my friend, the grave is a grave. You want to see what the grave is? Get inside. So they fabricate all those miracles in order to make you believe that the grave of Muhammad is heaven. And we are smarter than this. God is not a vagina vendor. Ask yourself from the beginning. I mean, we have a God. If I believe in Him, He will give me. A, you know, we just saw uh, saw uh, Omar saying that Allah will give you uh, the Quran is a, mil a million twenty seven letters, and every Quran, your every ver uh, letter you read, Allah will give you a version. For I mean, how silly is that? Allah will give me a million and twenty seven thousand women to sleep with. This, this, this is disgusting. A Quran promising me that I will have boys who will they will serve me forever as slaves. Slavery in heaven. I mean, we are fighting. You see, people who they have little dignity, they are fighting slavery. But even in the heaven of Allah, we are going to have slaves. Why? Because I believe in Allah. So Allah, he cannot make me happy without bringing me little boys who will be serving me for eternity, which means they did not choose to be slaves. That's it. Allah decide that you, you are created just to be his slave. That's it. I mean, how nice of you. How nice of this God to create children to be slaves for eternity. What is justice? Aren't they human? They say yes. Okay, is it right to make a human serving a human for eternity? Just because one human he worship Allah? Where is God here? Child abuse in the heaven of Allah. How this is can be God? Let them make all the fictions and lies about mathematics in the Quran. That is the most stupid claim. That actually a disgusting claim. Muhammad father, they call him Abdullah, but Muhammad Muhammad father never been called Abdullah. My friend, we can you see in the Middle East right now, if somebody is unknown, unknown father, they say to him Abdullah Fulan. Abdullah Fulan, Fulan mean uh, etc. person. Abdullah mean a slave of Allah. Anyone is unknown, they call him Abdullah. Are you getting the point? And this actually, I believe this is what it's meant. Because if Muhammad father is really his name is Abdullah, which means the slave of Allah, how he is not believing in Allah? And he will go to hell. He is a slave of Allah, but he don't believe in Allah. Hello? Hey, brother Christian Prince, hey, how are friend, you? Don't worry, I'm fine. Hey, this is this is Rob Christian. Hey, good to have you, my friend. Hey, good to have you too. Well done, bro. Again, another guy saved for Jesus Christ. His name, Hallelujah. I mean, I mean to that. You know, we are Amen, happy for bro. We are happy for him. Yeah, really, man. Uh, everyone in the in the text, uh, we're so happy for this guy. 
Oh man, unbelievable! You're doing a very good job, bro. Keep it up. May God uh, keep you healthy. Actually, but, you know what? I wasn't. I was. I wasn't uh, sure that he will. He will uh, respond to my my invitation. Yeah. Uh, because he was kind of. Uh, I felt like he is insisting to stay there. You know, somehow. Yeah. You know. But it, you managed, and uh, you know, this this is the fruit of Christianity, bro. This is the truth of Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, only the truth will prevail, right? Yeah. Well, we do our best, and you know, people they make decisions. What we can say. Uh, uh, Christian Prince, you know, when you were talking about the cow and the milk, I was waiting for you to uh, to to uh, knock him out on the part when uh, in, uh, when the cow, according to Allah. He hit a, a dead guy with a cow to make him alive again, but you didn't do that, man. Yeah, no, I because was we, because, for it. <laughs> because we were waiting. We are talking about how the milk is generated. This is different topic, so we stay away. You know. <laughs> yeah. But rough, you know, rough yeah. is the is the is the the poop or the you know all what the verse saying and the Muslim they try to make a miracle of it. That it's yeah. a miracle there that the the poop the, the the cow eat the grass and the grass became poop, and, uh, yeah. and the and the um, and. Uh, uh, the cow have a blood, but yet we have milk. Yeah. Where's the milk? Yeah, I was from? I was following you in the Arabic text. You know, as I know, as you know, I I also know Arabic, mm -hmm. and you were perfectly <coughs> explaining it because that's what Arabic says. It says clearly, uh, uh, dung. That's the the perfect uh, explanation yeah, rough, for rough, it. You know, rough is is uh, is, yeah. is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is is the poop. Yeah, yeah. So what the what the Quran is saying? It's a miracle how we did not mix the poop of the cow inside her with the blood, and you have a pure milk. Yeah, it's unbelievable, man. As simple as that. But you know, yeah. when you have no, when you have, uh, uh, you know, when you have no miracle, then yeah. you try to find, uh, you know, try to to make a miracle. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christian Prince, maybe uh, uh, if you can uh, explain to the people in the in the chat about uh, the poetry of uh, Amrul Qais. It's yeah. really interesting uh, that topic. Maybe you can show them also if you Google it, you can find a picture yeah. exactly uh, from uh, the text of Amrul Qais, right. which was, uh, who was a couple uh, hundred years before Islam and before Muhammad. And you and Muhammad took it copy paste exactly the same poetry of Amr al Qais and he put it in the Quran about uh, uh, al -Sa wa al -Qamar. you know, you know, all these uh, ayahs, right? Yeah, well, and I believe there are four ayahs or something many. But, uh, that Muhammad, yeah, many, but at least four. And he copy pasted it. And he, my friend, it's in, a my, copy in, my paste book, religion. in my book, Quran and Science, I have tons of those things, not only from Amr al Qais, from many books because Muhammad was copying from many. Yeah, yeah, from the but this Sanhedrin, is, but, but this, is the, Sanhedrin. this is the poetry. This is the poetry, yeah. <clears throat> and you know the poetry is very beautiful, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Muhammad he copied from it. This is why he he took it. This is about yeah, the same yeah. about the moon. That's spirit. true. Yeah, hmm. yeah, because uh, when when uh, Amr al Qais he is talking about uh, <laughs> the splitting of the moon, he is talking about uh, uh, love, love between him and and a woman. Yeah. How the suddenly <laughs> uh, a poetry about the love of a woman? But between a husband and his wife became a splitting the moon actually splitting the moon yeah you know you see, you see people guys don't know uh, that. yeah you see guys i'm losing my voice you see the poetry this is the poetry in front of me muhammad he copied let me show you the part he copied that is uh, here yes that one let me highlight um okay so he copied this part from the poetry and then he copied that part فَرَمَانِ فَتَعَاطَ فَأَقَرْ He copied that part. فَتَرَكْنِ كَهَشِيمٍ مُحْتَضَرْ Copy this part. Then, عَدَتُ الْأَقْمَارِ يَسْرَى فِي الدُّجَى Here, into this part. And نُورُكُمْ شَيْءٌ ذَهَرْ This part. And then he continued. I mean, he is copying is exactly word by word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because this is a love story. It's a love story between a man and, and his wife. And we know we know about the history of Amr al-Qais, uh, Christian Prince. He was like uh, the Romeo, basically the Casanova of his time. He yeah. was writing poetry and he was loved by many women in, in his lifetime. You know, he was like a, 
he was like Hugh Hefner, right? He anyway, <laughs> but you know, at that time, you know, uh, uh, and by the way, he was supposedly Christian too. Yeah. yeah, so he's a well-known guy, right? <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but that at that time, you know, uh, poetry for women it was very. I mean, th th those are desert people. They have nothing to do except poetry. They speak poetry. Yes. They don't yeah. even talk language. They, you know, they speak to each other at poetry. You know. Yeah. So when yeah, and, and yeah, and, and that's why that's why the people who knew about this poetry that Muhammad stole, this is why they are everyone in the Quran. They are telling to Muhammad, "You're nothing but a scam. You are stealing uh, uh, fr from things that were that are already known." Yeah. So people who knew who could write and read, they knew about this poetry. But you know, a lot of people illiterate, actually illiterate in the desert, they cannot. Uh, Write, write and read, so they believe Muhammad. Yeah, well, we are here to expose it. What we can do? Yeah, it's a, you know Islam is uh, made by illiterate, so-called illiterate, but we know he could write and read very well. But it's made for illiterate people who follow a blind, blind religion, blind political I ideology, basically. Uh, it's it's not easy to say to yourself, "I was a fool all my life, following a following a liar." Yeah, you know, yeah, so, exactly. So, yeah, uh, and you you gave a good example. You know, it took you a lot of hours to convince this brother. Finally, he accepted Christ. So it, it takes time. For some people, it takes two hours. For some people, it takes many, many months, many years. But yeah, we have hope for everyone, and this is what why we are doing this. Right, you are doing this here. I'm doing it on Paul Talk. So yeah, I I hope everyone is uh, supporting you, uh, supporting this uh, great work, and uh, God bless, my friend. Thank you. Nice to speak to you again. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Uh, God bless you and God bless everyone in the chat again. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah. One thing I want to talk about before we finish for today. I heard in the news that women, European women, they went to Morocco for tourism. And then Muslims there, terrorists, they captured them, they raped them, and they beheaded them. I don't know. I want to blame the terrorist for being a terrorist, or want to blame the foolish for being a foolish. You see, the world is so beautiful, and there's many beautiful countries you can visit. Why in the world you want to go to a country like Morocco? Why two females they go by themselves to a land where women are target, even for local? Do Moroccan women do hiking in mountains? They don't. Do you know why? Because even though they are local, they will be raped. So how stupid you are, how stupid you are to do what is even the local don't do. When I am local, it means I have a lot more protection from you as a foreigner. Is that correct? I have a family to protect me. I have a tribe and I'm from the same religion. I am from the same ethnic. I'm from the same language. So how crazy, how stupid those women. You could not find a place in the world to do hiking except in Morocco. What do you mean they know? No, they knew, my friend, they are donkeys. Go and see in Morocco how many people get raped and killed in the last few years. They attack a man, a man, he is 78 years old. His wife is 75. They rape the man and the women and they kill them. The man, almost 80 years old, they rape the man. What's wrong with people? Hippie, put some rings in your nose, some rings in your ears. Some tattoo in your ass and go around the world and wear a panty will look weird and take a shower once every two years suddenly and your hair look like a monkey and I am European. I remember last time when I was coming from China. Let me remember which airport was that. Anyway. I think in China, a Chinese airport, there was a bunch of European, all of them, they are blue eyes, you know, red head. One of them, he was saying to the rest, and they are sitting in the ground, and they are wearing horrible clothes, and they smell like garbage. 
one of them was saying to the rest I stand for my weeds don't take me wrong he stand for his weeds he stand for what his weeds this is why they in there they stand for their weeds like he's proud he's speaking loud I stand for my weeds don't take me wrong and the rest who they are sitting girls and boys they are shaking their head with respect oh yeah you are the man he stands for his weeds when I went to Germany I was walking with those brother from Germany we found the girl she is collecting donation or let us say she's begging for money and she have a can one can she said this can for weed this can for cigarette this can and people are making the giving money have you ever heard of a stupid people more than this somebody saying to you i want to buy weeds and you give him money weeds is drugs what is weeds? something you smoke it's not something you smoke it's hashish an advice I know that many Western they like and like to go and see the world but you always have to use the brain that God gave you don't be stupid don't act like a goat don't think that the whole world is is secure like your house your town American he think that the whole world eat McDonald drink drink Pepsi the world is ugly it's full of evil people Oh, no, no, I cannot, I cannot take more calls, my friend, because that's it. I have headache, really. My head cannot take it no more. I apologize. I'm talking for many hours. But I want to say that so you guys, you will not, you know, fail into the same trap. There's many countries you want to go to, study, search how safe they are. I will never go to an Islamic countries. You see, in Islamic countries, especially if you're a female, in Islamic country, if you are a female and you are young and you are a blonde, I mean, look how many times you are doubling your risk. They love a blonde woman. When I say love, I'm talking about, you know, sexually. So you are young and you are a blonde and you are going alone. How stupid is that? And what you are expecting? not only in arabian countries you can get killed and raped even in countries who they are not muslim countries go and see how many western they are in jail in thailand there's people they are going to be executed in thailand you have to be smart where you go and where you where you stay you associate with who who's your friends because you might get into a trouble you will regret if you stay alive after that. Stupidity is amazing. Go have fun, no problem. You want to go vacation, go vacation. But there's tons of places where it's safe and secure. And if you want to have fun, you don't go and stay until 4 a.m. in the morning wearing a skirt which is one inch and then you wonder why somebody is crazy and he got you and he kidnapped you and he raped you. There's nobody in the street. You are wearing not appropriate clothes. And you are maybe drunk. That will make the risk how many times increase. What a decent woman you are. Same as a man. You think if you're a man you are secure? They will rob you. They will kill you. They will stab you. You walk so late in the night, nobody around. You are a target. I mean, you do not need to be a genius to know that. You go to night club. Who is going to be in the night club? You tell me. People who they are taking maybe drugs. Let us say in night club, there's 100 people. Only, only 10 of them, they do drugs. That's enough to, to get somebody killed. They are high. They have no idea what they are doing. Gang members, mafia.
so when you put yourself into such a risk then the outcome will be ugly and disgusting you see in my town where I live I don't really go out at uh, after uh, uh, 11 o'clock I am a man and not only that actually I have my gun with me wherever I go I don't go why I want to go there I mean what would what I would do after the middle of, of the night what what for do your shopping do your stuff come back home be you know make the right decision you go you spend the night outside drinking going crazy stuff and not only that don't put in your car somebody you do not know the police stop you they check the guy they found the uh, uh, drugs with him maybe he take it from his pocket he throw it in your car and the when he see the cops are going to stop you they open your door they, they check the car they found drugs here we go you are arrested choose your friends wisely choose the places you go wisely use your common sense don't go where you should not go You want to have fun? Have fun. You see, somebody asked me, he said, oh, did you go ever to a strapteza club? I said, no. They said, why? I said, everyone goes where they belong. The bees, they go to the flower, and the fly, they go to the garbage. Don't ask me why. If you go to those places, and you get killed don't blame no one except yourself isn't it clear that those places are not good places isn't it clear that those are run by mafia and gang who is going who is the one who's going to open a strapeze club and who is the one who's going to be inside the strapeze club you tell me <laughs> you go there you deserve what will happen to you Oh, I heard in the news that somebody shot somebody in the night the club of it. So this, this is exactly what you deserve because you went to the place where people, they are drunk, people, they are druggy, people, they are trashy, and people, they are willing to do crazy stuff. Even if you are not one of them, but the place itself is not a good place. It's like going inside the, the, the a cave full of snakes and you wonder why the snake bite you. My friend, be smart. Don't let temptation destroy you. All of us, we have temptation. All of us, none exception, me and you and everybody. But we have to use our brain. You hear people going to Philippines. Okay, Philippines is a good country, nice country, beautiful country. But why you want to go to the Islamic area? Here we go. You go there, Abu Sayyaf kidnap you. You have your wife with you? He rape her. Are you happy? You want to see a place, place which is uh, uh, tourists don't go there. I mean, you are very smart. Don't you ask yourself why tourists don't go there? Stupid is amazing. There's many beautiful countries you can go and visit and they are safe and they are secure. Even in a safe country, you have to go in a safe time, which means you don't go walk in the street too late because the bad ones exist everywhere. The evil ones exist everywhere and they are waiting for a hunt. They are waiting for a target, a victim. And remember, when you are a foreigner, you don't have any weapon with you. I mean, like, okay, I carry my weapon with me here, but I would, I would do when I am in a different country. And remember, when somebody want to take you into surprise, maybe even your gun will not help you. So I really felt so bad for those girls. 
I mean, why in the world they, this is happening to them? Why the government, their government, their country, not don't forbid them from going to Morocco? Why they don't make no no law that certain countries we cannot go to? What about we go to Afghanistan to have vacation? Who wanna go with me? I mean, how stupid, how silly it is. I am going to go visit Taliban because I want to take selfie with Taliban. Dubai is very dangerous place too. Dubai is very beautiful, but you do not know what Dubai is about. You might disappear overnight. Dubai is a center for human trafficking, prostitution, drugs, and money laundry. And the family of the prince are mafia. Say one word against the family, the royal family there, you will disappear, you and your family, if they are in Dubai. What is Dubai? Dubai did not become Dubai because it's a good country, because it's a laundry money, it's a mafia money. Any mafia in the world, when they open a business, they go to Dubai. Dubai is beautiful. What is beautiful about it? A high building? It's a desert. I mean, what's wrong with people? You never saw a high building before? <laughs> you see, I can say Philippines is so beautiful, but Philippines street is not really good quality. Dirty streets, traffic, but the country is beautiful. Dubai is beautiful in what? They have nice streets. It's a small country. Little money can make it so beautiful. Small, tiny country. All of the roads in Dubai is not even in the size of a highway in USA. So which means a highway in USA will cost more than all the roads of Dubai together, maybe 100 times. So having a nice street, having a nice building will not make the country still safe for you. Go and make go go to Dubai and post a tweet. Make a tweet. Say something against the, the, the religion of Islam. Say something against the royal family. You will be arrested. And right away they will accuse you that you are a spy, the same as what happened to the, 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 the British guy. A woman she got raped in Dubai. You believe it or not, the judge decide that she is the reason for them to rape her. And he put her in jail. Why? Because they are from a rich family. They are local. You want to go, go to countries. They are, I mean, if you are from Europe, there's many beautiful countries. You want to go to Asia, go. There's many, many nice countries. But you have to be careful. Stay home and stay in cover. You know, my friend, I go, I go, always I go. Who said to you, I, in this year, I visited country more than all of you together. Do you want me to count for you? Almost all of Europe. I went to Philippines. I went to Thailand. I went to Korea. Uh, China, it was the year uh, before that. And I went in Germany. I went in Austria, I went in France, I went in Bulgaria, I went uh, Hungary. I mean, what, what, what more I will give you? But none of those countries I went to, I went to Strapteza Club or Night Club. I assure you, if I am going to those places, I will end somewhere, different place. I don't go to drink. I don't go for garbage. I don't. I don't go where where, where wrong wrong people go. Go to Croatia. I will go to Croatia. Invite me. All right. <laughs> Yeah, actually, Croatia is a very beautiful country. I saw just uh, a few days ago, actually, a video pop up in my uh, uh, in my YouTube about Croatia. Very beautiful country. Go there, safe, good people, nice people, Poland, Croatia, etc. We want to go to Morocco. There's mountains. There's mountains in Switzerland. There's mountains in Norway. There's mountains everywhere. I mean, why you go to Morocco? What is what is special about Morocco? 
So a bunch of idiot criminals, they will kidnap you and rape you and they make a video of you and say Allahu Akbar. Have fun. Have fun. We have to be smart, my friend. Same time, the money you want to spend for terrorists, spend it in your country or a country which is a good country. I'm not going to support a country like Morocco where the king don't allow people to accept Christianity. The money I spend there, I'm supporting terrorism. What about I go to a poor country, but it's a good country where the money I spend will feed somebody is poor and he is good. Go. There's even in Europe, there's many, many European countries which is poor. They need your help. Spend your money there. Eat in their restaurant. Sleep in their hotels. Have fun and let them, let, let them have the benefit of you. No, I've never been in Cyprus. Maybe one day I will go. I went to Greece, you know, this year too. I went to Greece. Beautiful country. So, my friend, we have to be smart. We have to be smart. Sometime I go to a risky place, but because of what I do, as an example, I went to the city of Marawi, where it took over by... Uh, the ISIS. I, I went to, to a city is called Katagayan de Oro. This is in the south of the Philippines, which is a lot of ISIS there. I went there, but to do a seminar, not for fun. It's very risky, you know, but this is what I do. It's not meant, as, I'm not going vacation. For me, it's worth it. For you, is it worth it just to go and take selfie there? Bali, Indonesia, isn't it a Muslim country? Isn't it Bali the one get bombs? I think Bali, Indonesia, the majority are not Muslims, right? But they are there. Yeah, so how, how beautiful Singapore is. Singapore is beautiful, they say. But the second you say a word against Islam, they arrest you. See how beautiful it is? In the Brunei, if you celebrate the Christmas, you go to jail. <laughs> anyway, maybe you know, maybe some countries is good for people to go, but not for me because obviously, you know, I have a lot of enemies. I cannot count them. Can you? Who can count my enemies? Imagine, I want to go and visit Zakir Naik, brother. And Zakir Naik and his brothers, they are going to be waiting for me in the airport. Hmm? A poor woman in, 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 in Pakistan, she said something against Islam, supposedly. She spent half of her life in jail and they wanted to kill her. And when when the government they release her, tens of thousands of filthy criminals they prostrate asking for her death. And she is a poor woman. She said nothing. Anyway, my friends, it's time for me to go. I hope today we have a good time together, and we are happy for the brother who accepted Christ. And please download the videos, share them together. Let us do what we should do, what is right. And let us fight what is wrong. We should not be people who speak, but we don't do. In my case, my speak is what I do, actually. Because sometimes words can be very effective. They can even change the world. And that's what our Lord, he said, and he did. He did not go in war. He did not carry a sword. He spoke. So let us do. Let us do what is need to be done.
and let us fight this cult so we can save the world and we should fight every cult not only Islam there's many of them many of them thank you my friends for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you again Christ is Lord and Islam is false see you again bye, -bye.